What's up, everyone? How's it going? Welcome. Welcome to to board board game board and, and board game. game and and barrels of fun. That's uh, welcome to a barrel of monkeys. Yeah. The, the starring starring Kyle McCarvey. Yeah. Dublin, <laughs> Hennessy. <laughs> what is happening? Derek. Sandworm, and me. Uh. <laughs> Ergic Reinhardt. Reinhardt. <laughs> Hi. Uh, the Eric and Dustin are trying to troll everyone by pretending that you can't hear them. That's not true. <laughs> they can hear us fine. <laughs> Dublin Hennessy oh, in the Dustin house. Dustin actually is mute. Dustin trolled himself. <laughs> oh God. He didn't know he was part of my game. Have I been muted? You were. How yeah. long have I been muted? I thought you. We we Since actually we thought you were show, doing my least. bit with me. Yeah. <laughs> Could I you hear me before muted. the show? Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't know how long. Okay, so I don't intro. know. I don't know how long before. During the intro, you muted. I thought you were doing it to be funny because I was <laughs> pretending to be muted. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna go with that. That's what that's what's going on. We're here to play board games. <laughs> uh, but before we do that, how's everybody doing this week? It's not. Let's not. Is that what you said? <laughs> it's, um, you know. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Yep. Good um, stuff. Yep. Same here. I'm ready. Yep. Yep. I'm ready to play a game that distracts me. A game where uh, an incoming administration is be trying to be <laughs> usurped by the previous administration, while a bunch of crazy yokels who live in the forest are trying to overthrow everybody. That's uh, so you know just yeah. just escapism. <laughs> Wow, yeah. Uh, we I didn't even think about any of that until you <laughs> until you spelled it out for me, yeah. Huh. We're, uh, we got some themed board gaming going on yeah, today. Yeah, exactly. Um, before we get into that, I, well, no, I guess, so, yeah. Before we get into that, um, we're doing things a little bit differently this week. Um, uh, I put together a how-to-play video for the game that we're playing today. Uh, uh, what? because after, after doing Endless Winter and spending literally an hour explaining how to play the game before we started playing, I felt like this would be a better use of our time when we get into the show. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into how to play Root. And when we come back, we'll start playing. See you guys in a bit. Welcome to Root, a game of woodland might and right. In the tabletop simulator mod we're using, scripting handles a lot of this setup process for us, but if you're playing with a good old-fashioned cardboard copy, you'll start by picking factions, setting score markers, shuffling the deck, dealing three cards to each player, placing ruin and item markers, and handing out some reference cards if you need them. But that's all done for us already, so we'll move straight into the individual setup steps for each faction. The turn order in a four-player game of Root is as follows. First, the orange Marquise Ducat. Second, the blue Erie Dynasties. Third, the green Woodland Alliance. And fourth, the gray Vagabond. There are also expansions that add three other factions and the option for a second Vagabond for games with up to six players, but we're not getting into any of that today. So, set up. Following the turn order, the orange cats are first. On the back of each player board, you'll see the list of steps we're going to take here. For the Marquise, we start by picking a corner clearing to place your keep token. Then, place a warrior in every other clearing on the board. Next, take one sawmill, one workshop, and one recruiter, and use each to fill empty slots in the clearing with your keep and any clearings adjacent to it. Adjacent clearings are connected by white pads. Finally, flip your player board over and fill out your buildings track with the rest of your sawmills, workshops, and recruiters, leaving the first space in each row empty. Next up are the blue birds. 
first, in the corner clearing on the opposite side of the map from the keep the Marquise just placed, put down six warriors and one roost token. Next, pick a leader to start the game with, but keep the rest handy. Then flip over your board, put your leader in the leader card slot, tuck your two loyal viziers under the decree columns as dictated by your leader, and fill your roosts track with the remaining roost tokens, leaving the first space empty. Then we head over to the Woodland Alliance. Flip the player board over, draw three cards, and add them to your stack of supporters. It's important to note that supporters are a separate supply of cards, different from the cards in your hand. You keep them in a face-down pile, but the Woodland Alliance player will be looking through this stack regularly to spend supporters on actions. Just remember that the cards in your hand can't be used as supporters, and cards in your supporters pile can't be played as if they were in your hand. Next, place your bases in the matching spaces in the bases section, and fill your sympathy track with sympathy tokens. Finally, the Vagabond. Choose a character and put the rest back in the box. Place your Vagabond Pawn in any forest. Unless you're playing with one of the expansions, the rivers on the autumn map we're playing on don't mean anything. So any area completely enclosed by white paths and clearings is a forest. Next, shuffle your quest deck, draw three quests, and place them face up where everyone can see them. This next part was also handled for us by scripting in the Tabletop Simulator mod, but I'll go over it just in case. Take the Ruin item tokens, marked with an R, mix them up, and without looking at them to see which is which, cover them with Ruin tokens. And place each of these newly made two-token stacks on a Ruin slot on the map, also marked with an R. Then flip your board, place your character card, and put the starting items listed at the bottom of your character card, marked with an S, in your satchel. Put any unused starting items back in the box. Then place a relationship marker for every other faction in play on the indifferent space of your relationship chart. And that's it! Setup is now complete. This game is known for its asymmetrical play. Each faction plays very differently from the rest, but there are a few aspects that are the same no matter who you're playing. You can move warriors from one clearing to another that's connected by a white path. But there's a catch. You must rule either the clearing you're moving from or the clearing you're moving to. You rule a clearing if you have the most combined warriors and buildings there. On a tie, there is no ruler. So, in this example, if the Marquise wanted to move a warrior out of this clearing, since she has the same number of warriors as the Woodland Alliance, and there are no buildings, nobody rules this clearing. That means she can't move over to this clearing, where the Woodland Alliance rules. But she could move to this one, since she's the ruler over here. Some factions can build in clearings with an open slot, like this one. Slots filled with ruins cannot hold buildings until the Vagabond has explored them. The cost to place a building will vary from faction to faction and throughout the game. Each clearing also has a suit, fox, rabbit, or mouse. These suits correspond to cards, which also include the bird suit. Birds are wild, meaning they can be played as any suit. Some actions you'll want to take in a given clearing only happen if you play a card from your hand with a matching suit. Most cards also have a second use. You can craft the card to gain its effect. To craft a card, you'll have to activate crafting pieces in a clearing matching the suit shown in the bottom left corner of the card. Each crafting piece can only be activated once per turn, and crafting pieces differ from faction to faction. The Marquise crafts with workshops. The Eerie crafts with roosts. The Alliance crafts with sympathy. And the Vagabond crafts with hammers. So, for the Marquise to craft this Root Tea card, she'll need to activate one crafting piece, in her case, a workshop, in a mouse clearing. That would mean this workshop is activated. Once again, it can only be activated once per turn. If the card effect has a paper background like this one, that means the effect is immediate. Resolve and discard the card, scoring any victory points you've earned in the process. If that effect involves taking an item from the map supply, make sure that item is still available. If it's not, the card can't be crafted. Otherwise, take the item token and place it in the crafted item section of your player board. If the card effect has a stone background, that's a persistent effect. Place the card face up near your player board and use it accordingly. You can't craft a persistent effect if you already have one of the same name. 
Note that the Woodland Alliance can only craft cards from their hand, not cards that are in their supporters' stack. With certain actions, you'll be able to battle other players to remove their pieces from the map. To do this, you'll choose any clearing where you have warriors. Choose another faction with pieces there to attack. Pieces can include warriors, buildings, and other tokens that belong to another faction. There are two steps to a battle. First, the attacker rolls two of these special D12s that have three sides each of a 0, 1, 2, or 3. The attacker deals hits equal to the higher of the two roll values, and the defender deals hits equal to the lower one. But neither side can deal more hits than the number of warriors they have in that clearing. In this case, let's say the Eerie Dynasty was attacking the Marquise de Cap. The 3 is the higher of the two rolls, so the Eerie Dynasty deals that amount of hits. The 2 is the lower of the two rolls, which means the defending Marquise would deal that many hits. However, there's only one cat in this clearing, meaning the maximum amount of hits she can deal is only one. The next step in a battle is to remove pieces equal to the number of hits dealt. Both sides remove pieces at the same time. If you still have warriors in the clearing, those are removed first. But you can choose which of your own pieces to remove after they've all been slain. Whenever you remove an enemy building or token, so not warriors, you score a victory point. This applies even outside of battle. Some effects will allow for extra hits, which aren't affected by the number of warriors you have in the clearing. One example is if the defender has no warriors in the clearing. That leaves them defenseless, which means the attacker deals one extra hit. If the defender has an ambush card matching the suit of the clearing, they can play it to deal two hits to the attacker immediately, before the dice are even rolled. The attacker can cancel the ambush's effect by playing a matching ambush card of their own. Your warrior count doesn't matter when it comes to playing ambush cards. Even if you have only one warrior in a clearing, you can still deal two hits with an ambush card. If all of an attacker's warriors are removed by an ambush, the battle ends immediately, with no dice roll ever happening. Every turn has three phases, birdsong, daylight, and evening. What happens in each of these phases is different for every faction, which is the perfect segue into what sets these factions apart from each other. The Marquise du Cat. The Cat's Keep gives her and her feline friends two abilities as long as it's still on the map. First, she's the only one who can place any pieces in the clearing with the Keep token. Second, whenever Cat Warriors are supposed to be removed, she can play a card matching the clearing those warriors are in to instead relocate them to the keep. During the bird song of the Marquise's turn, place one wood token at every sawmill on the map. During daylight, your first step is to craft any cards in your hand you want to by activating workshops. You don't have to craft anything, but this is the time to do it if you're going to. Then, you can take up to three of the following actions in any order or spend a bird card per extra action if you need more than three. Battle, and we've already covered how that works. March, which means up to two moves. Recruit, by placing one warrior at each recruiter. Build, by placing one building in a clearing you rule in an open slot. Spending wood tokens equal to its cost, as shown on the buildings chart on your player board. The wood you spend must come from a clearing connected to the one you're building in by any number of clearings you rule. When you place a building, you score the victory points you uncover on your player board. Or lastly, overwork by spending a card to place another wood token at one sawmill with a suit matching that card. The three actions you take in this part of daylight can happen in any order, and you can choose to double up and do the same action more than once except recruiting, which has a once-per-turn limit. In the evening phase, draw one card into your hand. If you've uncovered any draw bonuses on your player board, draw one more card for each of those. If you have more than five cards in your hand, discard down to five, then your turn ends. The Eerie Dynasties. The Eerie are the exception to the no ruler on a tie rule. If they're tied for presence in a clearing, they rule. But they also have a disdain for trade, which means if a crafted card would normally net you victory points, you only score one, no matter how many the card says you earn. During Birdsong, add one or two cards from your hand into any column of the decree. 
You have to add at least one, and only one of the cards you add can be from the bird suit. And if at this point in the game you have no roosts left on the board, you get to put one back, along with three warriors, in the clearing with the fewest total warriors from all factions. And on a tie, you choose. In daylight, start by doing any crafting you want to do by activating roosts in matching clearings. Then, you must resolve the decree from left to right across each column. To do this, you have to take the action of that column in a clearing matching each card in it. So, if a column has three cards in it, you'll have to take that action three times. But, cards within that column can be resolved in any order. To recruit, place a warrior in a matching clearing with a roost. To move, move at least one warrior out of a matching clearing. To battle, initiate one battle in a matching clearing. And remember, bird cards are wild, meaning you can take this action in a clearing of any suit. To build, place a roost in a matching clearing you rule that doesn't already have one. Remember, there has to be an open slot to place the building. In the evening, score victory points equal to the last empty space on your roost track. Draw one card, plus any bonuses, and discard down to five cards. If any action in your decree can't be completed for any reason, you fall into turmoil. First, your regime is humiliated. You lose one victory point per bird card in the decree. That includes the two loyal viziers, so turmoil will always cost you at least two victory points. Then, your court is purged. Discard all the cards in the decree except those two viziers. Next, your leader is deposed. Flip the leader card face down and set it aside. Then, choose a new one to take his place. Note that each leader has a special effect. These effects are persistent as long as the leader is active. If all your leader cards are face down, you can flip them all face up again before choosing your new leader. Then, put your viziers back into the decree columns dictated by the new leader. Finally, you rest. Daylight ends, and you move on to the evening phase. The Woodland Alliance. These feisty little rodents are few but mighty. They always use the higher dice roll in battle, even when they're defending. Before we get into the Alliance's turn order, Let's talk a little bit more about supporters. You'll be spending these cards to place sympathy tokens throughout the game. Whenever another player removes a sympathy token or moves warriors into a clearing with one, they have to add a card from their hand matching that clearing suit to your supporter's stack. If they don't have a matching card, you get to see their hand, then draw the top card from the deck to add to your supporter's stack instead. On to the turn order. During Bird Song, you start by revolting as many times as you want. To revolt, spend two supporters matching a sympathetic clearing. The sympathetic clearings have a sympathy token on them. Remove all enemy pieces in the clearing and build the matching base. Then place warriors there equal to the number of sympathetic clearings that match the revolt clearing suit, including the revolt clearing itself. Then place a warrior in the officer's box on your player board. Note that if a base is removed, you'll lose half of your officers and all supporters of the matching suit, including birds. Next, you can spread sympathy as many times as you want. Place a sympathy token in any unsympathetic clearing adjacent to a sympathetic clearing. If you don't have any sympathetic clearings on the map, you can place it anywhere. But you'll have to spend supporters of a matching suit to the clearing equal to the cost indicated on the sympathy track to do this. And if there are three or more warriors from another faction in that clearing, you'll have to spend an extra matching supporter. During daylight, you can craft cards from your hand by activating sympathy token. Mobilize by adding a card from your hand to your supporter's stack. And train by spending a card from your hand whose suit matches one of the bases you've built to put a warrior in your officer's box. The number of officers determines how many military actions you'll get to take during the evening. Unlike the cats and birds, this ragtag crew operate in the shadows, carrying out all their military actions in the evening phase. You can do as many of these actions as you have officers. First, you can move, initiate a battle, recruit by placing a warrior in a clearing with a base, or organize 
by replacing a warrior in an unsympathetic clearing with a sympathy token, scoring the victory points you reveal in the process. And as long as you have the officers to cover it, you can do any of these actions more than once. When you've finished, draw cards just like the other guys do at the end of their turn, and discard down to five if you have too many. The Vagabond. This little guy is a lone wanderer. He can't place warriors, rule clearings, or stop anybody else from ruling them. But he's nimble, so he can move through clearings regardless of the ruler. The Vagabond Pawn moves and battles just like a warrior from the other factions, but he'll never be removed from the board. You rely on items to accomplish your goals, expanding your arsenal by exploring the ruins and helping the other factions. Items can be damaged, leaving them unusable. Damaged items have to stay in the damaged area until you repair them. To use an undamaged item, you'll exhaust it by flipping it face down. At Birdsong, flip three items face up, plus two more for every teapot you've got. Then you can slip, moving into an adjacent clearing or forest. The Vagabond is the only character that can ever enter a forest, and slipping is the only way to do it. During daylight, you can flip items face down to take various actions. To move, you'll have to exhaust a boot. To battle, you'll exhaust a sword. To strike, exhaust a crossbow, removing one warrior from the clearing you're in. If a player doesn't have any warriors, you can remove one of their buildings or tokens instead. To explore, exhaust a torch and take one item from a ruin in your clearing. This earns you a victory point and removes the ruin token from the map, opening that slot for other players to build in. To aid, exhaust any item and give a card matching the suit of your clearing to any player with a presence in that clearing, or a bird, since birds are wild. Then you can take one item from their crafted items box. To take the quest action, exhaust the two items listed on one of the face-up quest cards whose suit matches your clearing. Put that quest in your play area, and either draw two cards from the deck, or score one victory point per quest you've completed matching this quest suit, including this one. Then replace the quest you just completed with a new one. To craft, exhaust as many hammers as you need to match the card's crafting cost. The Vagabond doesn't need to worry about the suit for crafting. To repair a damaged item, exhaust a hammer. And finally, each Vagabond character has a special action listed on the character card. To take that action, exhaust a torch. In the evening phase, if you happen to be in a forest, repair all your damaged items. Draw one card, plus one more for every coin token you've got. Little different draw bonus mechanic from the other factions. And discard down to five if you have too many. Lastly, if you're carrying too many items in your satchel, Remove enough to get you down to the limit, six plus two for every bag token you have, and put them back in the box. You can move face up undamaged teapots, coins, and bags between your satchel and the tracks on the left section of your player board whenever you want. If it gets damaged though, it has to go in the damage section of the satchel. If it's on one of those tracks, it doesn't count towards your carrying capacity, but if it's damaged, it does. The relationships chart shows how friendly you are with the other faction. You can improve relations with another faction by using the aid action. The number between that faction's current space and the next one shows how many times you have to aid them within the same turn in order to improve the relationship. Whenever you improve a relationship, you score the number of victory points indicated by that box. When you become allies with a faction, you can use their warriors to move and battle. If you ever remove a warrior, that faction becomes hostile. From this point on, you score a victory point every time you remove one of their warriors during battle, not just their buildings and tokens. But whenever you enter a clearing with hostile warriors, you'll have to exhaust an extra boot. Battling as the Vagabond is a little different since you have no warriors of your own. The Vagabond Pawn isn't a warrior, so it's not affected by warrior-related effects. Your maximum number of hits is your total number of undamaged swords, whether they're exhausted or not. When you're on the receiving end of a hit, you damage items of your choice. 
If you have no undamaged swords, you're defenseless, meaning you take an extra hit. Under normal circumstances, the game ends when someone reaches 30 victory points. However, mixed into the deck are four dominance cards, one in each suit. These cards can be spent for their suit, just like any other card. But, whenever one is played or discarded, place it face up near the map, instead of putting it in the discard pile. During any player's daylight phase, they can spend a card of the matching suit to pick up one of these dominance cards. If you have at least 10 victory points, you can play a dominance card by placing it in your play area. Then, remove your score marker from the score track. Victory points don't matter to you anymore. You have a new win condition, as indicated on this dominance card. The Vagabond can't rule clearings, so dominance cards for him mean something a little different. When the Vagabond activates a dominance card, regardless of its suit, he forms a coalition with the player with the lowest number of victory points. On a tie, the Vagabond player chooses. Once the coalition is formed, the Vagabond player places his scored marker on the player board of the player he just formed a coalition with. If he forms a coalition with a hostile faction, that faction becomes indifferent. If that faction wins, so does the Vagabond. And that's how you play Root. That's how to play Root! Alright, any questions? Wait, uh... <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I wasn't quite paying attention. Can you can you tell me one more time? <laughs> can we just go one through one? Nice. Yeah, just let's just, just replay that one yeah. more time. At like maybe one point five speed, but like you know, not yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just the good bits. Just the good I, bits. I I feel like no, that was awesome. highlight that was reel awesome. from that. <laughs> I feel like without that tutorial, uh, we would spend the entire show just going over how to play and never actually get into the game. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So we have decided that uh, that uh, mostly Eric is going to be playing the Marquise de Cat. Mm -hmm. I am going to be the Eerie Dynasties. Uh, apparently I have no camera three. I thought I did. But the Eric is going to Ew. be the Woodland Alliance. Oh, I ruin everything. And uh, <laughs> Dustin is going to be the Vagabond. Hell yeah, I am. So, um, I think, Did are we done with- Oh, hold on. Yes? Come zoom in on my guy. I want them all to see my guy. Oh, okay. This is so, important. Just so you know you what, what kind of guy I am here, I cut the face off of a jack-o'-lantern and I'm wearing it as a mask. <laughs> That's some creepy shit. You should have, you should have warned people with children in the room. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That's my bad. Retroactive okay. warning right there. The footage I th is quite good. I think setup is all done, right? Everybody's everybody's set? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, where are yours? where's the cards sure, in your hand, the Eric? I'm not set. What's your cards, I'm supposed though? to do set. I never got any. That's weird. I, got I don't mine. know why I didn't deal them to you. Click the click this button are you three. down? Click. No, I probably Click wasn't. this button three times. Oh, it probably... Yeah dealt them and then put them in the little like oh maybe uh, he yeah. starts with no he starts with three in his hand too okay. yeah i was just patient the way i didn't think we actually were yeah cool he yeah he must not have been seated realize... by the time i hit the button i guess gotcha, gotcha. okay um oh and i forgot to run neil damn it kyle <sighs> you noob where do i start so I just pick a Yeah, place? pick any forest. Ooh, you're using a different guy mm. than I used for the tutorial video. Oh, because he's got yeah, the jack-o'-lantern face. That's not allowed. Master. You're not yeah. allowed to use it. You have to do it the way he did it. Otherwise, it's <laughs> confusing. Otherwise, it's chaos. <laughs> <laughs> chaos. It's got to match my card. Where do I want to Makes be? perfect sense. Where's the, okay, so there's a lot of marquees present everywhere. Where's the castle over here? Okay, yeah, there. So, yeah, the Marquise puts a cat everywhere except the keep. So this one, this guy shouldn't be here. What is... No, it's, it's, that's not true. It's everywhere except for the opposite of the keep. It's, what? It's, I don't place one where... I don't think that that's right. It says right here. Did I do it wrong in the tutorial? 
Yes. Oh no. It's a warrior on each clearing except diagonally opposite. Oh, I did it wrong in the tutorial video. Well, thank you. Scrap it. Delete it. Thank you for. Let's start I got, over. Yep, I got to do it all over again. <sighs> well, that's okay. There's, oh, a few, no. there's a few times where you, your voice cuts out and when you finish a sentence. Yeah, I. Yeah. Like Look, on your player. I'm, I'm learning. That's a bingo. I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Does Eric have people that have to come on? No, Eric doesn't start with anybody on the board yet. I don't think. Okay, I was just making sure. I, I, I was trying to Eric check to too. I didn't think so. Well, you want your card? Because I can get you your setup. Card. That's the walkthrough oh, thing. Oh, that's oh, that's for right like here. an example this game. Is a good spot for me. Uh, but then on this little thingy right here. Hey, thanks so much for that subscription. Aileen. Aileen 9528. I can read. <laughs> Come on, Aileen. Uh, where's the stuff about setup for him? Oh, I bet it's over in the setup section of the learn to play. Players set up Possibly. their factions as described in setup on the back of each faction board. Oh, okay. So let's do this. Do I need to unlock it? No, I'm just gonna copy and paste and then unlock oh, and much flip it. Smarter. Smarter. Oh, I'm gonna keep this handy. Can That's just the setup handy? stuff, but yeah, you can you can hold on to that. That's fine. It gets it has tips. It does. It has tips. You're right. Can we all have that? Yeah. Yeah, you have to What's clone. Tip? Somebody has to clone your Copy, board. And then paste, you flip it. unlock, and flip. Set up. Flip your board, draw three cards, add them to your supporters. Place oh, you your bases it. on the matching spaces in the base boxes. Fill your sympathy track with your tokens. That's it. I'm done. That's what I thought. You got my My setup is to place six warriors in a roost in the corner clearing, diagonal from the keep. Choose a leader. Put my viziers in place. Yeah, I'm good. And Dustin should be good too. Yep, yep I'm good. Cool. All right. All good. So, uh, before we kick things off, I'm going to go ahead and start our buff and nerf, which, for those of you new to the show, there's a meter over on the left-hand side of the screen there. Uh, Neil, the tavern bot, is going over how to spend pastry points that you're earning as of now for <laughs> watching the show uh, that you can spend to adjust that meter, and then at the end of the 20 minutes, we will roll a set of dice or shoot them out of this cannon to, uh, <laughs> to determine a house rule that'll help yes, or will. hurt one or all of us. Okay, so, mostly Eric, you're kicking things off. Ooh. Sunken Fool's okay. kicking things Kick off. Kick it right. off! Bird song. Oh, no. I'm gonna place one wood on each... I'm gonna place one wood on each sawmill. Yes! Oops, I have one sawmill. That's my bird song. That's your bird song. Do I do all the actions? No, the daylight you get to do uh, up to... Well, okay. Whoa, what, what's happening? It's daylight time. What do you mean? Turn oh, came to me. Uh, I, that's why I asked. Oh, I, I misunderstood do the I, question. Do, yeah, do yeah, you go through the whole the whole phase for your turn. Okay. So, so I can cook. Oh, so we're skipping bird song? No, he already did bird song. He placed a wood. Oh, oh okay. gotcha, gotcha. So, uh, Wait, who's on first? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I get to craft using my workshops. I am going to use that one wood, and I'm going to create another sawmill. You did it. Wow. You did a thing. Did it. And. Oh, yeah, you did. I also gained one victory. You did. Yes. And that costed one wood? Yep. Uh, it did. did. Uh, then I can take three actions. Um, plus uh, plus one for, extras if you uh, spend a bird card. card. Yep. I am going to then, one of my actions will be to recruit, to defend my sawmills. What just happened there? Um, 
one Shit. of my actions is oh i guess one of my actions was to i guess i built is another action right? one hammer and clearing card place building yeah so crafting was the first thing crafting was the first thing uh, which is crafting cards out of your hand uh yes which i did yeah craft. okay so you didn't do that but you did you did a build so I, I built and you did a recruit a, a, a recruit so you got one more action uh yeah. and then i will hmm. then i am going to I'll start a bet after my turn, Conquiel. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, thanks. I don't think the overlay is going to work, though, since uh, I forgot to launch Neil. Oops. Okay, I am going to overwork. I'm going to spend this bunny card to overwork. I'm going to place a wood uh, and a matching clearing. This one. Got it. Yeah, that works. So that goes in the discard. Yeah, nice. That's 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 my daylight. So evening, you draw a card. There's a button on your player board that'll do it for you with the scripting. You're a button on my player board. <laughs> <laughs> got him. You got me. All right. What the hell am I doing? Uh, if my hand is empty, I draw a card. But my hand is not empty. Then I add one or two so you're cards. So you not drawing a card. To the decree. So let's see, where am I on this board? I am in a bunny clearing. And I've got a recruit and I've got a battle. I would like to add this card to my move. Yeah. <gasps> And discard oh, shit. to my build. Okay. Uh, and I have roost, so I skipped the third step. So now I'm into crafting using roosts. I can't craft that card. Moving into resolving the decree from left to right. So first off, I recruit in any clearing that has a roost uh, because it's a bird card that's in that column. So I'll go ahead and boop, plop a guy right there. And then I've got a bird card in the move column. And I'm going to go ahead and move. I rule this clearing so I can move to any clearing connected to it. I'm going to go ahead and move three guys up here. Uh, then I got a battle, and I'm going to battle in that clearing. So, what? Who are you fighting battling? Right here. I'm battling oh, mostly shit. Eric. It's the only person I could battle right God, at this stage shit. of the game. He's... Oh. Oh, that's cool. <gasps> that's cool. One and zero. All right. I did, I did a thing. I killed a, I killed a guy. He's dead. You monster. I know. I know. That was a law-abiding citizen of the Marquis de Cass. <laughs> uh, and then... He wasn't even a warrior. And then I move on to the build phase, and I build a roost in a fox clearing, which is the clearing I just went into. I just want you to know, I know there's some tension between me and the woodland creatures uh, and my rule, but they drew first blood. <laughs> Have any of us played this before? No, but I spent all week working on that how to play video. <laughs> uh, okay, so I've done, I've done my decree. I'm good to go. Now I move on to the evening phase. I score a victory point for the last empty space on my roosts column. Uh, where's that button? There it is. Boop. Yeah, I got two. I got a point. Okay. And then uh, draw a card. And that ends my turn. Oh, man. I have so many friggin' bird cards. I'm going to be in trouble if I can't resolve my decree. 
it is time for the air. When when do quest cards get set up? Oh, they're not already out? There should be No. Oh, I thought that was part of the scripting. My bad. Yeah, they should already be out. It's all good. I just wanna know Oh, okay, here what we I go. can do here. Those are those are Dustin's mm -hmm. quest cards. Those don't matter for the rest of us. Yeah, don't look at them. I'm I'm no, I'm changing my entire strategy to go after Dustin's quests. Uh <laughs> You can't have them. Dragon <laughs> lifestyle just seems so so quaint, you know. Okay, so for my playstyle, for the first phase, the bird song, I can only draw from the. I keep reaching like it's actually there. I'm touching my monitor. <laughs> um, I can only draw from the deck on my player card, which are my supporters. Yes. So um, yeah, you spend correct. supporters for uh for the yeah for the bird song stuff. You spend supporters. Yeah. So th this is interesting. So yeah, during the first phase, I can only draw from the that pile of cards on the board. The second phase only comes out of my hand. Yeah. yeah. That, that's interesting. So I have basically two hands I'm I'm dealing with. Uh. Okay. So what do I have? Uh, do I have a matching? suit i do have some matching suits so let's see what happens when i throw down two cards Ooh. i'm excited to see how eric goes because he flips the roll when he defends yeah i take whatever he does is, uh, he does when he higher. gets attacked he gets he gets the higher that's, die that's a good choice good choice on your part um, okay, so what happens here? I have two bunnies and I'm So none of the other details matter. It's just the suits for me, right? Uh For yeah for the yeah for supporters. They can only be played for for suit So let's see uh, for revolt Spend two supporters matching a sympathetic clear. Oh, you don't have any sympathetic clearings. So you can't do that yet. So yeah. You have to spread yeah, you have you to spread, spread sympathy. So spread first. sympathy. Spread any number of supporters. Listed on sympathy oh, trap. So, spend, so you only need to spend, so one, spend one to put that uh in in a matching clearing. Sorry, I was yes, setting up yeah. the map. Second three or two. No, that's okay. So I'll do this. I'll spend this one. <gasps> okay. One card for sympathy. So then I can throw him in a fox. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hit it here. What? Okay. Oh, I didn't see the orange cat there. I thought it was empty. No, there's orange yeah, cats every, on every, every clearing. Space has a... Yeah, I, I rule. They blend thing. into the orange trees. <laughs> yeah, they do. That's how we won. You gotta look down at that's, an angle. That's how they got control. So yeah, so the the lore of this game, I'm only loosely familiar with, but the Marquise rules the kingdom right now, uh, which is why she's got her influence spread far and wide. Um... And then uh, the Eerie Dynasties, my guys, the birds, used to be in control. And so they're like just clinging to to life in this corner on the opposite side of the, the kingdom from the, the castle. The Woodland Alliance are like the rebellious rodents in the in the hiding in the trees that are just like, no, revolution, freedom, independence from the tyranny of the 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 royalty. And uh, and the vagabond is the little the little troublemaker who's just going around pretending to make friends with everybody else, but he's not really. Hey, I'm making some real friends along the way. <laughs> I'm just fucking over some other people, right? You know, it's just I'm playing the side, seeing who uh, you know who clicks with me. Okay, so Eric's I, I played a second. spreading some more sympathy. Yeah, second sympathy, and I scored a victory point. Yes, un, un you did. It. So I move like, out. Where's my little tracker guy? You can There's a button. Uh, above your board, you just click the plus and minus. Oh, 
Perfect. Boop, boop. Ooh, which reminds me. I'm tracking those. Uh, I'm, a and I'm gonna go ahead and spend, blow my last one and spend another one. Oh, and I get another little point for that. And I have another bunny. That's a uh, fox. No, the first one was a fox. My bad. No. He's a bunny. I have two bunnies and a fox. Okay, so then these are going. Is this the discard? Yes. Face up? Yeah, over the here? face up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you recruit in the evening. Yeah. Yeah, because they're. They're, they work in the shadows, so they do all their military stuff in, at night. Gotcha. Makes sense. Cowards. When I first saw this, I thought that, like, everybody was going to do their bird song and then mm. do their yeah, daylight I, and then their I, evening. I was like, do, do I just do the first thing and then circle around? But no, I guess not. It's interesting. Okay, so now I'm in. I can't do anything else in my bird song. I'm in daylight. And I'm into my hand. I can craft using sympathy. So, so if nice. you've got so in the bottom left corner of of cards in your hand, there's a craft cost, uh, which will be like two foxes or a bun oh. or a bunny or something like that. Yeah, I see that. So you would activate like if you needed yeah, to spend yeah, two have... bunnies, you'd just say I'm activating these two sympathy tokens. To craft. Got it. Hmm. Well, then yeah, let's do it. Because I think that's this looks like a good one for me. Ooh. Two bunnies, which I have two bunnies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you activate those two bunnies. Which gives me... That looks like gold. You get the coin item added to your crafted item spot. I don't know what to... Uh, that basically only serves a purpose for Dustin to come and, and give you a card to take it from you. Oh, well, that's fine. But you also like, earn three like victory things. points from doing the crafting. I like things, too. Yes, but I do have to discard that now. Yeah. So here's your coins. So that... Yeah, give him his coins. Woo some nice looking coins you got there, Eric. And you got three victory points from crafting it. Okay, so that's craft. I did that, and as you build base, man, you're all the way. And then the I that's will right. move. I will mobilize the rest of my hand down into the supporter base. Eric is laying down the framework for a massive revolution, and I'm liking <laughs> what he's putting down. I'm not. <laughs> I still don't. I don't really understand how to get my base out there, but uh, um, that's through a okay, revolt so to get a base. That's the revolt. Yeah, okay. yeah. You spend two supporters matching a sympathetic clearing. Get rid of any enemy pieces. That's what in I thought I was doing to and put a base down. Lay down the sympathy before. So yeah. Right. Okay, that makes sense. So you've okay, yeah. So now I'm in the evening. Um, I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any. You don't have any officers, have so you can't do any, yeah. anything. Yeah. That's okay though. You scored a lot so of points and you thing? and you spread yourself out to to start accruing stuff. I think that's a solid well, first draw, turn. Yeah, you're gonna draw. You're gonna draw. I don't draw. Draw anything. a draw card. card. Yeah, you draw one card. Oh, yep. draw one card. You always draw one Sorry, card at the end that. of your turn. Yes. You can get that's to where you earn bonuses. Oh, refill. Sorry. All right, Dustin's Here's turn. Oh, Woo. yeah. All right. That wasn't as painful as I thought. Okay, now I get it. I understand it. All right, We're all playing so... our own version of this game, basically, is how, like, everybody's character has different ways to play it, but it's, yeah. Yes, crazy. Okay, so first off, bird song. I don't have any items to refresh, um, but I can slip into a different forest or clearing. Yeah, that's basically a free move for you. Okay, so... I'll be right back. Okay, so the top left icon is where I need to be to craft it. But uh, the bottom left is what I have to pay to craft it. You don't have to be anywhere specific in order to craft. And for you, as the Vagabond, you don't have to worry about 
um, locations. The cost of crafting. Oh, so I can just yeah. I can craft anywhere. The cost of crafting okay. for you but I have to have is a hammer. a hammer. Yeah. What if I? What if it has two bunnies? Then you would like, need two need hammers. Two hammers. Yeah. Okay. The number okay. of icons is the is the cost, um, and the suit of the icon is what clearing you have to activate it in if you're not the vagabond. The vagabond, it doesn't matter. Gotcha. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to slip over here. Why is everyone in my land? Because your <laughs> land is up? everywhere. This is nice land you got. <laughs> <laughs> that one you forest all is really land. hot right now. That, yeah. that club oh. is so hot right now. Uh, I need to look at something really quick. I don't think that... Let's see. When a player removes sympathy or removes warriors... No, you're not a warrior, so you're good. No, He's, I'm good. He doesn't yeah. pay me yeah, yeah. like the other ones. Pay so how do, I, how do I aid into a player there? So he has to have a person there? Or does no. Sympathy, sympathy counts. As a thing? Sympathy counts. As it, it, they okay, just cool. have to have pieces there. Cool. But you could cool, also cool. aid me. Yeah, I could. except you won't I get could, anything. You, you won't get anything. You don't for have it. anything to give me. <laughs> yeah, but 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 I'm I'm the leader. <laughs> you're the you're the leader right now, but I don't know how things are going. This is a Listen, pretty good I'm revolt just saying, building here. Help me here. out or <laughs> suffer the consequences. <laughs> I probably just oh shit! Missed okay. It, but why does Dustin's character piece? Look, match the exact character that he picked on the card. Is he that did that on purpose? There's a bunch of them. If you oh, there... search my uh, my thing here, yeah, there's one for there's... every vagabond. Because he doesn't, he, yeah, he doesn't have like soldiers that he puts down. What? No, I just was surprised that they had one for each of the various there's... characters and not a generic one. I want to show you out. my favorite. This one. Uh, this one's my favorite meeple. The little possum. <laughs> He's oh, the yeah. best guy. I so the one. reason that they have multiple is because in one of the expansions you can have two vagabonds. Got it. Like two people play as a thematic, vagabond. Man, I like it. I like it a lot. So are you doing okay. aid? So now, um, yeah. So I'm gonna aid Eric. So you have to exhaust an item and then give um, a card that matches the clearing you're in after oh yeah so oh any item so i'm going to exhaust the this crossbow and i'm going to you need a fox what do yeah, you mean that's fox. where you're at you're in a fox, a fox clearing so that's what you have to give him yeah i can give i can give you a fox i would have to give him you have to give him a card on. that matches your yeah. clearing or a bird because birds are wild <laughs> And if you don't, is that the? Do I get to pick one if he didn't have a fox? No, yeah, he just wouldn't be able to do the action. That's uh. I'm gonna go ahead. And... That's when somebody wait, enters yeah, your clearing, Eric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, I don't have any more birds. foxes, Eric, or I would give you something. Um, but that increases my friendship with Eric. Sure does, which earns you a victory you point. Know, um, and I yeah. Y'all are really fucking me up because I used to rule so much land, and now I I rule three less land in one turn. <laughs> I didn't I didn't usurp anybody. I just I don't I rule just, here. I, don't I, rule here. And I definitely don't rule here. So I I could have killed this guy, <laughs> but I'm being nice and I'm playing. Uh, you playing know, the long game. You don't want to go hostile too I'm soon. <laughs> I'm just, I know, I'm just saying, like, I'm I being, got, I'm just saying, I, I could have defend my borders. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm just roaming around, you know, spreading the good word. Okay. So I can move now. Oh, no. Actually, I'm going to explore. So I'm going to, okay. So I'm going to flip my torch. I'm going to check this ruin out here. Oh, a sword. That could come in handy. Hell yeah. So add this over here. It's a big turn for you. Okay, that ruin comes off the board. Boop. Yep, so that's open for building. Um, and then I got a sword and two boots. I'm going to use a boot to go over here. So this clearing. 
And uh, I think that's all I want to do during daylight phase. Okay. What are you doing? So, over there? an evening's rest. If in forest, repair all items. You don't have any damaged have any items, damage. and you're not in the forest. Draw one card plus one coin per step. One per coin stack. So you get I two got cards. One coin stack. So I get two cards. Discount down to discard down to five. I'm gonna have four. Um, and I only have one, two, three, four, five items, so I don't have to discard right. any. So nice. That's it. All right. Let's roll for buff and nerf. Buff number seven, or no, nerf number seven for Dustin. No, you guys nerfed me? They sure oh, did. not cool, not cool. Uh, and... Okay, I will prevail. Where's my Chrome browser in my alt tab list? Uh, I'll just do this then. I need some teapots. So Dustin's nerf, it was nerf number seven, right? Yes. Loading this up. The buff and nerf list for this week is pretty ridiculous. Uh, yeah. I'm oh, this isn't that. that this is nope. not that bad for the va vagabond. Plus one to defenders' Ooh. rolls on battles you initiate for the next two turns. Okay, cool. I can live with that. Yeah, you'll. Looks like I'm not. Yeah, you'll be fine. Somebody. With that bu nerf. And if I need to kill you, I got a uh, crossbow here, which. Yeah, and then, then you don't have to roll so. dice. Yeah. All right. All right. Mostly Eric. My turn. Bird song. Play some wood. I got. I get some wood. I'm, I got industry coming. I'm trying to create jobs in industry, <laughs> and y'all are doing all kinds of stuff. I don't like it. Um, okay. Um, y'all are s stealing. I can't rule these things. Um, uh, oh, is that a? I didn't know. Is that a condition that you can't rule because? Well, yeah. If on I, a tie, you know, there's I, no you ruler. You only rule a sector. Yeah, you only rule a sector if you have the most pieces there. I don't. Sympathy can I didn't realize sympathy counts yeah. as a piece. Yeah. I thought it, it was does. just any piece that I, is owned like force, by a player. Just a, yeah. a looming presence. But it can be battled too. I think so. If they do a yes, battle, yes, they can do a battle against your sympathy, and it would be defenseless, so they'd get an extra hit. That's true. That's true. It's called propaganda. But it it does cost. There is a cost to battle mm -hmm. my pieces. Yes. There's oh, always yeah. a cost. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, I am going to spend one of my woods, build. Which is doable because you rule. Clearings connected uh, to it. Then I get victory point. Then I'm going <laughs> to move one down there. That's two by my and count. Two actions. Yes. I was like, that's one move. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to move one. That's actually two moves. Because <laughs> you moved one guy, one space. That's I don't one know if you can count. But... <laughs> yeah, one plus um, one is two. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some more coffee. Yeah, get me some too, sweetie. <laughs> uh, do a place. Um, just kidding. I got a lot today. I got the big mug out. Then I'm going to recruit for my <gasps> Very nice. Where'd you recruit? I missed it. Another. Oh. Right, right there. Right next to. Home Actually, base. just recruit. Place one warrior at each recruiter. Oh, each recruiter. Yeah. Oh. That's more fun than I thought. Yeah. More Garfields. There's so many more Garfields now. Also, Garfield. um, for the record, there's. They're coming for our lasagna. <laughs> there's, there's scripting. Um, if you press one on your number pad, Eric, it'll place one of your warriors. Uh, so that's three actions. Uh, crap. You could spend a card, a b no, bird card, if you want to do another one. Oh, yeah. Um, do I want to save this? Question. Um, I don't want to. Let me think. 
think. Yeah, I am going to... How about... Oh, I have a problem. Uh... <laughs> yeah, What's your I'm problem? Going... I'm going to spend a bird card. The one card in my in my decree that is uh, that is not a bird card is a fox. I have to get oh boy, I have to get all the way over to here somehow. <laughs> and then you have to contend with a lot of people. Okay, that is my my day life, nighttime. Oh, I missed Wrong it. What'd you card. What'd you do to end your turn there? You spent a bird card, or did you? I, yeah, I, I spent a bird card and I placed. Uh, I built a another workshop down here. Uh, that is not connected by clearings. You rule. Oh yeah, you're right. That is true. Then I didn't do that. Then instead. I'm sorry. It's just every time I try and take a turn, Kyle's like, "Hold on, let me look away from the screen." I know. I'm minutes. sorry. How dare you? Um, Let's look at Kyle's crazy board. Uh, then instead, I will save your bird card. I will not take. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna save my bird card then. All right. For you. Save the bird cards. Save the bird cards. So does every person essentially have a various? type of minigame where it's because like mine is to move I have to like plan my resources basically a turn in advance do you guys have similar things or is uh, it well yeah me, I and, mean... me and Kyle have seemed to be similar like goals but the way we're approaching like I have to build up my forces and defend them like I have to build up industry to build up workers whereas his is different his is I, starts with a lot. I have to be really careful about what cards I'm putting out here because I have to take I, I have no choice but to take all five of these actions this turn. If at any point I get to a point where I'm like, oh shit, I can't build in a fox clearing this turn, then I'm screwed. And I lose po a point for every bird card that's out. And wipe the board and, and start over from scratch. Uh, okay, so I added a card to my move column on my decree. I am... Did you? Not... Because I'm basically playing Starcraft. Or, you know, I'm not I'm able like, to craft, up, you know, more mm -hmm. pylons and stuff like that. See, I you almost feel like... More pylons. I'm playing some sort of card thing because I got to build... I got to stack this deck on my board but everything has to move through i have to like launder it through my hand right first. yeah yeah uh okay so i i'm playing starcraft you're playing world series poker <laughs> <laughs> i am not crafting so i'm resolving the decree i can recruit anywhere i'm gonna recruit here then i can move uh, anywhere twice. So, I'm going to move all four of these guys. Oh, shit. He's invading. Over here. You have to pay me. I do have to pay you. Um, what do I have to pay you? A card? A fox card. Fox card. Why? Because you've got sympathy? Yeah. Because he's got sympathy cool. in that clearing. I don't have a fox card, so you can have that one instead. Oh, no. He's going there? I I had That's no choice, good. Dustin. I have a build action in a fox clearing. Oh, man. I really screwed myself on that. Because <laughs> there's... There's only, like, there's only one other fox clearing I can even go to. Because this one's got to keep. Oh, I'm going to... I'm going to have to... Wipe there, my decree. That's not true. There's also one right down. Yeah, there's only I was like there's only there, one more I can go to, which is that one. Also, you were on one. Yes, you but I already built there. 
I just like, I'm looking at the board and I'm like, oh, at some point I'm going to have no choice but to wipe my decree because I'm not going to be able to keep building in Fox clearings. I guess I can, there's no rule that says I can't have more than one roost in the same clearing. You, you, yes, I mean, I, I thought there was. Is there? I mean, there's a well, square I guess for if, there's, it, so... if, if there's a square for it. Right, yeah. but I mean, like, as long as there's an empty square, it doesn't matter if I've already got that's... a roost in that clearing. Uh, but, but also, like, check. I'll check. check. I will check. I will check, check on my... Uh, yeah, I will check because... on... I will check when <laughs> I'm done. That sounds really, like, not a... I will check when I'm well, done. I know, like, in this fox clear... I've got a battle. No, no, I'm just saying that this fox... Yeah, I, I thought I heard you say... I might have said that. I don't that remember. I'll check when I'm done with my turn. Uh, okay. What's your battle doing? My battle is happening in this clearing. I'm gonna hit, uh, mostly Eric. Oh, shit. For zero oh, yeah. hits. Ooh. You ain't doing <laughs> shit. It's alright. I don't have to succeed at the battle. I just have to do it. Uh, okay. Oh, hey, I screwed up. I'm supposed to place two warriors every time I recruit. Damn it. Well, I'm not. I should have been paying Maybe attention. Should I should have been paying attention. Okay. Uh, but now I build here. in a fox clearing. <laughs> which is right here. <laughs> and uh, I think that's it. I did it. I pulled off another turn. I score... Good job! I score two victory points. What? And I draw two cards. Oh. I didn't Wait, see you there pay was me, the button. That's does nice. it go in my hand or my card? Hang on. Oh, I think, yeah, so I think the card I gave you is supposed to go in your supporters. I think I screwed that up, Eric. Well, that's okay, because I took it in my hand, but I just want to double check. I'm trying to see where it is. Yeah, I think it's supposed uh, to go in your supporters. Should... Add it to your supporter stack. Sweet. Okay, cool. No, that actually helps me a lot. Yeah, I cannot place more than one roost in the same clearing. Oh, man. I'm, yeah. Nothing so, the rules say dog can't play baseball. I've got one more turn. <laughs> oh. Unless somebody kills a roost before I will have to wipe my decree and go into turmoil. Good. And I have four bird cards in my decree, so that's great. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how your people work. It, it was very confusing, so I'm just gonna. Basically, they're mad that they're not ruling. First, so every couple second. of weeks, they murder the king and they yeah. say, "I'm the king now, and yeah. I'm gonna lead us to victory." <laughs> oh, fuck. Yep, exactly. <laughs> nice. What's happening with Eric? I'm spending two cards now this is a while right so it yeah. I, yeah it's essentially spending two fox so i spent two fox cards oh you're a dick spend two sports <laughs> matching a sympathetic <laughs> clearing remove all enemy pieces there okay so we need to pick them up and throw them oh so, kill kyle kill kyle you're a dick so <laughs> these go they automatically go back if you move them off to the side itself. yeah this is cool Woo. wait i'm not your enemy i'm your lead uh, place matching help. base and warriors there equal to total number of matching sympathetic clearings. I only have the one fox, so I get one. Correct. Damn. I just helped lead the revolt, man. I, I provided one of those foxes. And you get an Ooh. officer now, too. And he comes... Oh, okay. I get it. Oh, sweet. Um, Thank da, you. Da, da, da. For doing your duty. Now okay, suffer so my then, wrath, obviously. Then what else happens? Place matching bases <laughs> there equal to total number of matching sympathy. Place a warrior in the officer box. Okay, cool. Now I can spread sympathy. Yeah. These, Which... these sympathy tokens now will cost you two matching supporter cards. Yes. 
All right, so spread one more. Ooh, another victory point. Where are you putting it? Got a connecting um, I mouse. Got a mouse. So I am going here. You would take that little village. <laughs> Eric taking over Wobbledy Doof. That's the name of that town. For long. <laughs> it's Wobbledy Doof. <laughs> yep. Wobbledy Doof mines and uh, tavern. You know the history of Wobbly Doof. You knew that that was. I mean, the, I mean that was the alliance roots. Really, are so. Uh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Uh, okay, I so that's I blew through a whole song. bunch of shit. That's my bird song. That's my Man, swan song Eric right is, there. I, I'm, I'm questioning my decision to bet for myself in this game. Eric's doing yeah. real well so far. This has to run out at some point, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Uh, let's see. Train. Spin a card for a matching to place a warrior in the officer. I don't want to do that. All right, so I'm going to mobilize and move this down into the supporter box. Okay. Uh, and then military operations. So move it into the evening. Uh, what good would it be to move my little dude anywhere? I need I to I need check to what your movement, movement rules are. Oh, I probably have to go, let's see, take one move. Oh, no, you can just move. Initiate a battle. Recruit. No, I'm going to leave him there. I don't have anything. Well, no, I want to recruit, don't I? Place a warrior in a cost? clearing with a base. No, it just costs, you just activate off officers. So you have one officer, so you get Got one it. military operation. Perfect, then I want one recruit, so boo-boo. All right, second, draw one card um, plus per one showing. And I do have one showing now because there's a base, yep. so I get two so cards. so you get two cards. Done. All right, Dustin's up. Oh, hey, what's up, what's up? Cool, uh, refresh three items. Yep. I'm refresh these guys. Um, I can move. Can I'm gonna, slip. I don't, I don't want to slip. I don't want to slip right now. Staying where you're at. So let's okay. go to daylight. Uh, spin this guy here. Let's go ahead and explore. <gasps> oh, you got a hammer. I got a hammer. This is what I want. Yeah, that's big for that's big for you because you'll be able to craft items with it. Yeah, buddy. And repair broken ones. Okay. Um. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend one boot to come over to Wobbledy Doof. <laughs> uh, Eric, is there is there anything that you might be needing for your war effort? Um. Yeah, I need mice and bunnies. I need a little. I need bunnies? to bop up. Yeah, yeah but you're in a fox clear. Heads. Yeah. Wait, I don't. So. What, uh, here, here, oh, I'll here. take a I fox got something, card. I got something, Toffee. I don't have a fox card, but I got something better. Would you like a bird card? Does this go in my hand or it goes in your hand? Stick? Yeah, I believe it's the hand. Uh, sure. So you, are you gonna kill me if I take it? No. That was the Why aid would I action. Kill you if you take it. Because I don't know why you're just giving me shit. <laughs> you got to aid him twice in the same oh, turn that, if you want to yeah. go up on the relationship meter with him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My love meter. We're going down this track? Romance? Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I, sh I ship I'm it. Gonna, <laughs> I'm going to spend it. I'm going to come over here. And then I'm going to... Oh, I needed to spend something for this. So I'll spend that, and I'll spend another one to aid Eric again. Oh yeah, this this romance I'm is gonna, strong. 
Eric, would you like this bunny? Yes. I'll give you that bunny. Yeah, I'm really wishing I'd bet Thank on you. Eric now. Two. <laughs> Oh, I get a button. Arcanum Symphonus just came in with a big nerf. Oof. When do you spend... Oh, those are crafting things. That's weird. All right, so I got a, I got a hammer. Let's see. You explored, moved, aided, moved, aided. Okay. Hey, Kyle. Fuck it. Hey. Do some of the craft... Oh, crafted improvements. That's where like there are ongoing passives. Yeah, that's that yeah, that's up. for the 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 stone background crafting cards. Everything makes so much sense. So I'm gonna craft this crossbow, which gives me a crossbow. crossbow. <laughs> Interesting choice and a victory oh. point. That was not what I should have done, but oh, whatever, whatever, <laughs> that's fine. I just wanted to use that. I was excited to use it. <laughs> Four minutes. All right, and uh, I'm going to use my crossbow that I just got. Uh-oh. And I'm going to shoot the first shot. Uh-oh. The cry of revolution. He's going hostile against the cats. What's the, what's the cats do? What I do? What? What? You do Why? The now rule. he's wearing your cat's face. Oh God! Yeah, he ripped oh, out God. my face and wore it. No. Okay, so then that makes you hostile. Yep. I did nothing to you. If you check your mini map, everything should be red. <laughs> so that's it. I'm coming for you. I'm going to come, I'm going to destroy everything, and I'm going to rename everything. <laughs> Every place I've ruled, I've renamed. <laughs> oh, shit. Do I get a victory point for that now? No. I moved in battle. Not yet. Turn. So strike strike doesn't give me stuff, but... Does no, it's enough? just... So uh, he back and re well, he removing... Wobbly dude, so so I know oh. removing I enemy warriors normally does not give you victory points. Now that you're hostile with him... Every warrior you remove of his will give you a victory point. Okay, cool. So striking will work. Too. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Removing, Wait, removing uh, other tokens, buildings and tokens will Wait, always so, net you a victory so point. So he attacked. Okay, Sorry, cool. I was I was in the midst of. So he was attacking me. Yeah, he he killed one of your uh, warriors. Uh, with a with a roll. No, with a strike. No, with a strike. Oh, okay. Does that count as a battle? No, it's not a battle. It's a different thing. No, that was the sword thing. Okay. This is uh, Fergieville. Okay. I like Vatican Kitty. <laughs> yeah, we've got we've got Catopia, South Catsburg, Vatican oh, no. Kitty. We've got uh, uh, Catsylvania. <laughs> that should uh, be the one with the keep. We, we, <laughs> we've got uh, Catalonia, and then we've got Peru. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Great. Um, okay, so where the fuck am I here? Okay, I think you're, so you're in your evening phase. Wanted to play. Uh, nothing's wobbly damaged. Wobbly doof of the people. That's like the People's Republic of Wobbly doof. Draw two cards. And now you got to uh, get rid of an item. Got to get rid of an item. Um. You can ditch the crossbow you just made. I'm thinking about it. But I'm also thinking about ditching this boot. Yeah, I'm just gonna ditch this crossbow. I'm gonna go that goes away forever. You can never get it back. Oh shit! That's fine. <laughs> Oops. Okay, and that's the end of my turn. And we're rolling for another buff and nerf. Everyone gets nerfed. Oh boy. Fun. I don't like that. I don't either because it's complicated. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, Marquise, one fewer action during daylight for the next two turns. Okay. 
Eerie must skip one possible action for the next two turns. Great. So, like, one of the actions in my decree that I could do, I have to skip. Uh, Alliance may take one fewer military operation or spend a bird card. No! Next two turns. That's... That's gruesome. And Vagabond may refresh one fewer item for the next two turns. Son of a... <laughs> That's a... That was a brutal nerf. Yeah, it was. Especially when I run out of items. A, a famine has spread across the forest, affecting all of the various <laughs> factions. All right, mostly Eric. Right. Bird song generates wood. Then, uh, daylight. I get less actions. Great. Love yeah. Uh, I am going to. I'm going to give this card to Eric because I'm going to remove this sympathy. It's wild. Oh, yeah, that's a thing you can do to remove sympathy, right? Yeah, it's like... Yeah, you, I... battle, you basically pay to have it. Yeah, Is that how that works? Pay. You have to pay him a card. Or he... Uh, well, you either... I either You have, have to pay, pay to move in, and then you have to pay me when you take it away. Yeah, you... If, oh, if you, so... Yeah, it said, so you did a... It's outrage. When I... Did you do a battle there, then? Because uh, you gotta... Exactly. You gotta do something Whatever to remove it first. Yeah. Yeah, then th that's what I was saying. I'm using my first thing to do whatever I have to do to do that. So you need to roll the dice, the attack dice. But I, he, he's not a person. He just automatically... So you get an extra hit. Okay, fair. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, so when a player removes sympathy or removes any words into a sympathetic clearing, that player must add a matching card from their hand to your supporters. If they cannot show you their hand, you draw a card and add it to your supporters. But you guys just started giving me the last cards you have usually <laughs> <laughs> um so now i rule this area i'll have to come up with a fun name for it which so that was one which area was that uh, i missed that uh the, oh the down there corner. okay he took one uh, of my next bunnies to, next to vanek and kitty in south Captain. right um then i am going to uh, south of the woodland alliance of woodley dorf <laughs> yeah then wobbledy dorf i'm going to <laughs> I'm gonna build myself the workshop using one. Yeah. Wood. Okay. And that's two actions. That would be your max. Yep. I I'm aware. I I know. Now does I this sympathy go back on my board? It does. Yeah. Yeah. Which means you can earn that victory point lose? again. Oh, I was like, do I lose that victory no. point? No. No, the only okay. faction that can lose victory points is the Eerie. My guys. And then, uh, evening, I draw a card. All right. Yep. And then think of a name. I'm up. I need to see what's going on on this board. Uh. Let's see. And I have to skip one action that's possible. Um, I'm going to plop this here. To my decree. Okay. I can craft. I have nothing to craft. So now resolving the decree. First off, recruiting. And now I'm going to pay attention and place two warriors instead of one when I recruit. <laughs> I'll recruit in this clearing uh i have three cards in my move column i have to skip one action that is possible for me to do that's my nerf so i will uh skip this bird card move because that's possible or not uh, not the bird card move the, the mouse the, the bunny whatever the hell that is 
It's a bunny. It's a bunny. Um, and I will instead then move. How many guys am I moving? Oh. Does a move action... Can you move multiple people? Is that a thing? I can't remember. I th you did... You did last time. I did, and now I'm like, wait, is that okay? Because <laughs> I erased your whole thing last time. Where's movement? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. You can move as many warriors as you want from any clearing that you want to another as long as you rule one of the two. Like Dustin's ant game. Yeah. So I'm gonna move for one bird card this many guys over to here. And for another bird guard bird card, I'm gonna move all of those guys over to here. Stay there? No, because I have to build okay. in this clearing. <laughs> but, but okay. Peru. Peru. You don't want to stay in Peru? Not because I right. have a card that Now I'm on to there. my <laughs> battle phase. I'm going to battle you in this clearing. No, Vatican Kitty. Rolling the dice. <laughs> uh. I would deal three hits. You would deal only one because you've only got one warrior there. Yeah. And you did. Now I'm going to build a roost in that fox clearing. I did it. I did it. I kept myself going for another turn. Okay. Took over Vatican Kitty. Uh, and now I will draw... Let's see. Okay, score victory points. That would be two victory points for me. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot until just now. You're supposed to score a victory point. No, not when you, not when you remove people, but when you remove tokens. So, Eric, when you took off that sympathy token, that was worth a victory point. I draw two cards, and that ends my turn. Hey, hey, it's Eric's turn. All right. Well, 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 the question is, I have two cards in my supporter deck. What's going on over here? I think... We're gonna do this. Oh man, I'm torn. I'm torn on what to do. Okay. I hope I don't regret this later. I'm going with my gut. Um, I'm going to spend both of these. They are birds. They are birds. They are <laughs> I'm, birds. I'm revolting. Where? Um, here in uh, whatever that is. Okay. What time mm -hmm. is that? The bunny town over here. No, that stays. No, because Dustin had already That's cleared Dustin. it. He just left it on the board. I was moving it oh, out of the way. Yeah. Alright. Uh, okay, so spend two supporters matching a sympathetic clearing. Remove all enemy pieces there. Place matching base and where there's equal to total number of matching sympathetic clearings. I have Oh, he killed my bunny. I still don't get another one. Okay, so I get a token there. What's on there? Ooh, another card draw. 
one comes out and then do i get and then place a warrior in the officer's box yeah cool 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 um okay so these go away i can't do anything hey else. thanks for the raid lady manga welcome raiders daylight phase the cowards have attacked us I am going to What you doing? Thinking. Okay, so I'm going to activate one of my simp my mouse and I'm going to craft this Oh, that dominance card goes card. there too. Is that a dominance card? Yeah. Oh yeah. This guy. Dominance card. Whenever it's Eric spent a dominance card. It goes here. So there's one out. Yeah. It's so. Oh, I didn't so even realize. Ten points. Yeah. When we discard eight. those, we put them here, and we can actually. And you can. I guess, claim yeah. You can at any them. point at during any time in in a daylight phase in the daylight phase oh, of your turn, you can spend a matching card to pick that dominance card up and put it in your hand. Hmm. And. If you have... It was in my supporter deck. I couldn't have used it. Right. And then if you have 10 victory points, that's, you can... That's why I gave Activate it a dominance you. card. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Uh, okay, and then I'm going to... Mobilize... The rest of these. All of them. All right. Right? No, I'm saving that one. I'll just mobilize two. This one can stay. For now. For wow. now. Okay. Day <laughs> That's the end of my daylight. You get two okay. military operations. Evening military operations. No, I get one less because oh, I'm right. nerfed. Oh, right. Yeah, because you're nerfed. Nerfy nerf. Because we're all nerfed. Um, okay. We're all nerfed. All so nerfed in the end, man. I'm going to just do a single recruit over here. Okay. And then for my next, my second evening phase, I draw one plus two. So I draw three cards. Yeah, you do. And that will do it. So, uh, my turn. Eric's becoming a problem. <laughs> I am not. I need more okay. influence on the board. So, Eric. Eric. Yeah. Would yeah. you be willing to, to form a coalition with me if I get grab that? That's not how card? that works. You form a coalition with whoever has the least number of victory points. Uh... And you have to get to 10 victory points before you can even do it. To play it, yeah. yeah. But I could still pick it up. You could pick it up and hold on to it, yeah. I think I'll wait then. During daylight. Oh, when do I do that? Is that it's just during, during daylight? daylight time? During okay. daylight, you can do that. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, so let's start off. I refreshed two items this morning. Yeah. Uh, refresh those two. Um, I don't want to slip anywhere. So let's go ahead and go to daylight. I'm gonna go ahead and explore. Use this torch. You've been scoring victory points for your oh, explorations, yay. right? Yeah. So I also just need to pow. I think I've been getting them. I don't know. I might have missed a couple. Whatever. Well, you've only explored three times. I know you scored one for the first time. So I've explored three, four, five, six. I think I should have. What am I at? Three. Seventy-six. So you missed one. Yeah. We'll give it to you. Ha! How long are we nerfed? Just that once? 
It's supposed to be for two turns. <clears throat> turn. bah. Bah. But it's taken uh, so long to get around the table, we might have a new one bef before anybody takes another turn. <laughs> This is a big brain game. It is. <laughs> what are you doing, Dustin? Use Using a boot to go over there. Um, you want to aid me? Uh, aid you? You're in my clearing. I don't have any boxes, sorry. Okay. You ain't got some items. No. I think it worth a pile. You'd get a victory point. Which sides, Kyle? <laughs> I need some bags. I need some bags. Some bags and some teapots. Bags. Some bags. I need some bags real bad. Okay, so I'm not gonna use that. Um, so let's go to evening. Uh, and draw two cards. Card. Need to remove an item. It's Our gone movement. forever. Bye. All right, mostly Eric's turn. Okay. Let's see. Play some wood. going to fruit then okay, well, back up there didn't you um I built that first. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Why not? That's a bingo. That gives me <laughs> two victory points. And then I also get to draw two cards uh, instead of one. I'm going with. Um, Then I will draw my two for evening and then discard. Uh, I'm going to discard. I need hammers. I should craft some hammers. So I'm. Mm, okay. You can sway me to your side. I with some hammers. have not had an opportunity. Well, you don't get anything at this point from aiding. Uh, Eric, mostly Eric, because you're hostile with him. No, he's hostile to me. I can't help, but that could be. Changed. No, it can't. Uh, yeah, when I murder you. Oh, okay. It can... Okay, that's how we yeah. go. All no, right. Dustin, it can't be changed be... unless you uh -oh. end up allying with him. He's stuck as a hostile faction. I know. That's what I'm saying. I can't do anything. Like unless like unless you end up that's forming you, a yeah. coalition, you cannot change his relationship status. Right, same. Things could change. We could, you know, come to a mutual understanding, or either side could be slaughtered mercis mercifully. <laughs> mercis I can't say the name word, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, I'm confused on how crafting works. So crafting, you for you is activating workshops in matching clearings. Okay, so I would have to like if it, if it, like that. Okay, good. Like if it, that that cost that card was was three bunnies, so I would need a workshop in three bunny. Locations. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gl I'm glad I I'm glad I chose not to. That yeah. Time. I was like I was like that seems like a lot. It of, is it is a like, lot. Way more work. Okay, what the hell am I doing? Okay, and did I spend? Um, I could recruit there. Uh, 
and then yeah the wood goes on top the wood stacks what oh that's fun what the wood stacks on my sawmills nice yeah <laughs> okay uh i'm going to put a fox card in my recruit column and start resolving my decree i think let me think about Do it. let me think about crafting Do first hold on I don't think I have... Nope. Can't do that. Okay. So, <laughs> moving on. Uh, to re the recruit phase. I've got two recruit actions. One's a bird. I'll roll for that after my turn. Uh, one's a bird and one is a fox. I'm going to do them both in this clearing. Stacking up. Then I got... Three move actions, two birds, and a bunny. I have to skip one because I'm nerfed. I will skip the bunny. Um. Doot. Doot. Okay. And for my two birds, I'm going to take all these guys and move them one and two. Eric, I have to show you my hand because I don't have any foxes. So you can draw from the deck. To your supporter oh, stack. That, you showed me your hand. I showed you my hand, yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. I thought it was... I picked one of those. No, no. You take one from the deck and add it to your supporter stack instead. Oh, that's interesting. Because I don't have a fox to give you for entering there. Uh, okay, and now I'm going to battle Eric in this clearing. This could end really badly for me because he gets the higher roll since he's Woodland Alliance. Also, I have a passive now, and in battles, a defender may discard this to deal an extra hit. Great. All right, I deal no damage, you deal one. That's fine Keep with me. Keep it going. That's fine with me. Okay, and I will... Oh, you just have to do and it. And I That's will right. build a roost in that clearing. I was like, there is a square somewhere. Yeah, it's underneath all my friggin' dudes. I brought too many. I'm regretting this decision. A lot. It's okay. Uh, okay. It's okay. M moving into the evening phase, <laughs> I gained three victory points. I draw two cards. And I end my turn. It's time for Eric's turn. And it's time oh, to man. roll for a buff. Yeah, roll that roll first. It. Roll that first. Roll it. A buff for Eric, with a K. <laughs> I wait. I'm glad I waited. Yeah. You draw one extra card during get? evening this turn. Damn. I'll take it. Um. Okay. Uh. Bird song. I'm going to spend two here. To drop some sympathy down. Oh shit! Uh, what's up? I didn't. I forgot about this. I don't know if I would have used it, but I have the field hospital. So when I lose a a, a warrior, I can the, I can move them to my main base instead if I spend a card. Yeah. And I get a victory point for that. All right, so I spread my influence out over there. I don't have enough to do it again. Moving into daylight. All right, let's see. I got... 
That's fun. Um, I'm going to... I think I'm gonna pick that. this game up. This is. I'm digging cool. this. Yeah. Yeah. There's also a, a like a like a proper video game version on Steam. There is. Oh yeah. I don't know if it includes the expansions or not. Probably. Yeah. It's a good and there's no way to check. <laughs> no way. We'll never know. But I was looking at the other factions. The river otters acted like merchants. Like sell yeah. items and stuff, and then the mole people are like the zerg, and they can like burrow and pop up in different places, and like they have like wormholes or mole holes, if you will. Because of I, because of the fuck it. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, no, wait. I want to save. That one saves. I'm mobilizing three cards into the supporter deck. Yeah, that's a good plan. Because you got a lot of cards coming. Oh, there is. There, yeah. Let's see. There's. Uh, how many cards do I have coming? Four. Three, and then I draw an extra one. Yeah. Four. Yeah, we'll start there. Okay. Um. <laughs> Only one military evening action. Evening time. Military upper. Just, oh damn! I'm You're still, still nerfed. nerfed. Okay. Um. I am going to. Move one. Just one guy? How? Dare no. You? No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm going to recruit. I I'm gonna... have. <laughs> I've been so chill with Here. everybody. No, I'm not no, invading I'm anybody. Derek. Kyle's still like sitting I, on top of I would have been so cool with it if you would have just killed all those dudes, actually. I brought way too many in there. I, don't have anything to I do know, that. I know. I brought way too many in there. I need to be able to build another roost on a fox, and I'm not going to be able to because they're all covered. Thank you for telling me that because I was thinking about getting rid of one. Oh, of no, go ahead. Do it, please. It up. If it hurts you to leave it up, then maybe it, I'll just It do does because I'll fall into <laughs> turmoil and <laughs> lose four points. Draw one card plus one card per those showing. That's two more. And now drawing my buff card. Yep. And discard down to five, and I'm done. All right. Woo woo. Not. Dustin refreshes one less because of the nerf. Fucking great. Yeah, I know. I that nerf hit um, us all. <laughs> damn. Um. No refreshes. Okay, um, I don't want to slip anywhere, but I am going to explore. Hey, you got a bag! It's everything I ever wanted. <laughs> cool. So now I can start getting some shit done here. Um, I'm not going to spend my food. Oh, crap. Okay, but I'm gonna spin my hammer to craft a boot, Woodland Runners. Oh, okay. Nice. You get a victory point for that. Victory point. Yeah, this guy. Um, and since I have two boots active, um, I'm going to. Flip them and complete that. Oh, you're doing a quest. Yeah. Bunny quest. So you can either Done. draw two cards or get a victory point. Uh, per quest, but that's so. Per. So if I had one here. No, it's per uh, mouse quest card. Okay, so if I had two mouse quest cards in here already, it would be worth two I victory would get points. Three total. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. It would be worth three at that point. I like it. I like it. So I'm just I'm gonna take my trousers. What are you doing? I'm gonna 
draw two cards. I'm gonna draw two cards. That's what I'm gonna take. Okay. No, I'm taking the victory point. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so evening time now. Draw two cards. Replenish that quest, too. Oh, yeah, replenish that guy. Okay. Discard down to five. One, two, three, four, I got six. I'm going to discard this. If it gets discarded, does it go on the thing? What are you discarding? Dominance? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it goes on the discarded dominance card. Oh, what's that? Mouse dominance. You win the game if you roll three mouse clearings at the start of your bird song. Okay, I'm good. Okay. My turn. Bird song. Let's get some wood out. Three. We played this game again and switched roles. I would be like starting all over, right? Uh, I'm going. Which to... is kind of interesting. So there's at least three times that I can play. That the game it. is new. Three more times I can play it. That the game is going to be completely like yeah a change up yeah. in how I play it. I'm going to craft some root tea. Okay. Two victory points for that. Ah, yes. So what happens if Eric loses his castle? I can't. I don't know if there's a way for him to lose it, actually. Yeah, because nobody's no, supposed to put it, any pieces you can't, in there. Because you can't, you can't, yeah, you can't uh, place uh, pieces uh, here or destroy it. Gotcha. Because the rules do say, like, as long as the keep is on the board, the Marquise has these abilities, but I don't know how you would ever clear it off the board yeah, because of that that ability that says you can't place pieces there. Maybe right. there's some special or maybe super you can't place pieces there, but maybe you can move them there. Yeah, you can move them there, but you can't like place down stuff. So you could, so people could oh, move oh, into could. there and then f battle until they remove the keep. Um, I can no. scorched earth it too. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, okay. So I did recruit for my first action. Yeah. Then I'm going to move, which I moved to. You're getting a lot of guys on the board now. <laughs> well, because y'all keep. I was I was doing fine, and then, then y'all just fucking went after me. And I didn't do nothing to nobody. It wasn't you know, personal. Just like, I just, I had a decree. I had a, I had a, <laughs> I had an or, I had orders, man. <laughs> you know what? I killed one guy, okay? And between you and me, he was not the best guy. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I definitely rule Vatican Kitty again. Um, and then I will... You'll battle me there, right? Because I'm defenseless. You get a victory point for it. Oh, that's that's so smart. Uh, I okay, yeah. Then in that case, I'm gonna spend two wood to put down a crafting thing. How many actions have you taken? That's my third action. Okay. First one was to recruit. Second was to move, and third was to build. Now I get to, um, so first craft using workshops. I guess I, since I already used it. Yeah, you, you're past that stage. Yeah. Ugh. It's like, now I gotta draw cards and I gotta do. So you're, um, you're not gonna, you're okay. not gonna clear that roost out for me. Is the steamboat willing? <laughs> uh... Nice. I, I appreciate your help. And that's my turn. Okay. The good news for me is that I can still do the first um 
I can like I go through the decree until I get to the point where I can't do anything. Oh, I get uh, two victory points. Did I get those already? Yeah. Because you can't lay a roost. I won't time. be able to lay a roost in a fox clearing, so I'm going to fall into turmoil this turn. But I can go through everything up until you can that some, point. You can, you can take some bitches down with you. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, first off, I have recruits, moves, battles build maybe I want to build in a bunny clearing can I do that somewhere no I don't think I can maybe if I'm hmm Ay, 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 ay. Uh. Oh, we are. We're using the score tracker again this time. Yeah. That's fun. I've been I using it for the last uh, for the last couple games, I think. I, I don't always check. Well, no, because why would you? Um. So the score track is wrong. I can't tell Kyle was being a dick when he said that or if he actually meant what no, he said. No, I meant it. Why, why would you check? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, I missed two yeah. points of yours because they were they came after your turn. I thought your turn was over. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I realized I, I uncovered two victory points by building. I'm just going to put this here and see what happens. Um. So. Recruit. Uh, I've got a fox and a bird. I will plop them all here. What? Oh, you no! Know, you have to take moves. I do. Not plan on sticking around. That's a lot of dudes. I know. I don't like all those dudes in wobbly <laughs> duke. Um, I'm gonna take my bunny move wobbly. action. To move out of this bunny clearing. Actually, I'll just move the one because I rule on a tie. That bunny village didn't have a name. I was surprised it was the only one I did, didn't have a name. So oh, uh, Poopy Dumbland. by cats, <laughs> I named it. Is that what it was? That's what somebody. No, named not it. that one. Not down the I named that one. <laughs> this bunny one in the middle is surrounded by cats. So, in an act of defiance, the Winter Alliance named it Dogtown. Nice. nice. I like it. Okay, uh, then I got two um, bird moves. I'm going to move three guys here. No, Los Gatos. And uh -oh. I'm going to move... Ooh. four guys here. I guess if I want to stick with the lore of the game, it should be Foxtown, not Dogtown. <laughs> my, my apologies. Except it's a, bunny, it's a bunny, it's a, it's a bunny clearing, not a fox clearing. <laughs> well, the bunnies go there and the foxes come and they eat them, so. Okay, uh, listen, I've got a this is, bird this battle. This is next to... The bunny clearing of Catsylvania, so... <laughs> I'm, uh, so I've got a bu uh, a bird battle. I'm gonna battle in this bunny clearing against mostly Eric. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hold on, let me see She's if I can... Holding, real. holding. Okay. Uh, uh, no. Okay, battle incoming. Oh, I needed to do one more hit, damn it! Nope. Shit. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, that was a bunny? Yeah. Then I am going to field hospital. I'm going to spend a bunny and to move that cat back home. Nice. Okay. Um, 
I fall into turmoil because I cannot build. I think. There's no I'm not in any other bunny clearings, right? No. I can't build. So I'm falling into turmoil. Uh which means Capitalism has failed. First off, these all go in the discard. I lose four points. Because I had four bird that cards. That's horrible. Look at you go. Devastating. I really got to be more careful. <laughs> okay. Leaders deposed. I got to pick a new guy. Um. Oh, that would have been handy. I'll do that for the future. And that guy goes there. That guy goes there. And I'm into the evening phase. I get three victory points back. And I draw two cards. And that ends my turn. So where did I end up on victory points? Seven. That's not that bad. That could have been worse. Okay, so then. I am playing two cards from my supporter deck. Ba 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 ba. It's bunny time. Um, I am Peanut not butter doing bunny a time. I'm not doing a... But I am spreading some sympathy. Uh, Dustin, you can't rule places, can you? No, he cannot. No. Oh. Yeah, so they stay white. They don't. You don't take them over. So you have to go there. That's, this is just where I've been. <laughs> <laughs> is that how we're tracking rulership? Is over the color, the text yeah. color? Yeah. You haven't noticed? Yeah, uh, I've been changing yeah. it. White is is nobody rules. Um, I rule this one. Uh, and then... I rule on a tie. No, you don't. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Then I guess you rule Peru. I'm Lord of the Forest. Okay. Lords of the Forest. You rule any clearings where you're tied in presence. Oh. Uh, anyway, I threw some sympathy out. I gained myself a victory point. What'd you throw the sympathy? Oh, over there. Did you gain did a I victory point? A victory I don't point? think you did, because I already had you at seven. I thought I clicked a button. Yeah, I thought I clicked a button, but it did not move. All right. these out uh that's my bird song <laughs> thanks for playing in the pooping hole <laughs> dust yeah what that's what we all use the bathroom okay <laughs> oh my gosh uh anyway daylight phase okay daylight oh i am going to that's a joke, guys. What? What? I'm craft. I'm crafting using sympathy. I have two bunnies, so I'm activating this two bunny card. Boom. Oh. Okay. This. I've been. I had. I got it just in time for Eric. You want to him to go that bunny town. That yeah, you want him to go bottom up so that you can see to... all the effects. There you go. Nice. Nice. Uh, yeah, at the start of Birdsong, you and another player draw a card. I can't do it this time because I've already passed my Birdsong, so it doesn't... Oh, so you get to pick somebody time. to give a card to, ba like, take a free card on me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Uh, okay. And then I'm also going to... <laughs> I'm spending this Fox card here. And that lets me um, train one of these guys, and he becomes an officer. Uh huh. And I'm spending this bird card. Uh, actually, that warrior stays on the board, and you pull an officer out of your bag to put in there. That's even better. 
than what I r interpreted that as. Yeah. Um. Sorry, and then what were you doing? And then I spent a bird to do it again. Okay. Damn. Oh boy. You can do four military operations. He's gonna. Now. He's gonna start. Um. And let's start taking over. He's gonna start messing some people up. And then now. I'm mobilizing that card, keeping this one in my hand. Um, okay, military phase. I can do, and I'm not nerfed, right? No, I'm not, so I can no. do all four. You'll have to wait, Silver. We're, we're rolling for a new buff after this turn. Yeah, give me one second. I will be right there and letting us roll I'm, I'm holding the game up no it's okay the buff and nerf i took a while is. trying that, uh, to figure out what i was is... doing <laughs> all right so i'm using one action to move where are you moving oh you haven't done it yet okay i i did i took he moved down to whatever this one is from peru from uh peru. from here okay yeah from the woodland alliance one two he moved down there yeah And for my second move, I am going to move this guy up here. Okay. And for the next two actions, I would like to organize them into sympathy. I think you have to spend a card for that. I do have to spin the card too. I'm not sure. Remove warrior and place sympathy Double there. I gotta check. And that, I'll wait and do that another turn then if that's the case. I gotta check. But... I don't think so. It would say. No. So. Yeah. Just remove. It says remove because I remove one of your warriors, warriors, your warriors from an unsympathetic clearing to place a sympathy token there. Never mind. You do not have yeah. to spend any cards. Cool. Nice. You can do that. Right, Hell so yeah! That's guy... the way to do it. That guy goes, and it does. That's plus two. Uh, and then I was taking that guy away. And that's sympathy down there. And that's plus three. One, two, three. Wow. Uh, oh, and then I got a draw. Okay, that's the end of my military second draw. One card plus one, two, three. And I'm not buffed, right? That was just a one-time buff. Correct. That was a one-time buff. Oh, I hit the wrong button. What'd you hit? This one. I gave myself a victory point instead of a card. <laughs> They're not tradable like that. All right. It's Dustin's turn, but first, All right. we got a buff. Roll it. Eric again? Eric. Come on. God what? damn. Rigged. Loaded dice. Oh, cool. It did. <sighs> I made some adjustments to the cannon yeah. last week. It works. It's working out. Eric, what did I get? you get what an I extra get? military option what did I get? For, or operation for your next turn. What did I get? Yes! Mm -hmm. I'll take it, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> All right, Dustin. Refresh three yep, items. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I know. If only you had a teapot, then you could refresh more. But you know, I know. Where would you find one of those? Who's got a teapot? Oh, you have a teapot. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad oh. we're hostile. Mm. Too bad everyone attacked me for no reason. Yep, yep, yep. Just trying to bring democracy to this land. No, no, no. <laughs> well, tell that to the people of Peru that you're ruling with an iron fist. I can't give aid to somebody that's hostile, right? You can give aid. You just can't improve relations. Okay. Um... Okay, Eric, are you uh, are you willing to bargain for that teapot? I know he things are a little tense I, between us, so but... Uh... I, I want to point this out for you, Dustin. The other player does not have to be willing for you to give them aid. 
Oh, really? I can you just can just do take it. Their stuff yeah. And give them a card. Yeah. You, you're, you're basically oh. sending a gift basket. Yeah. And thinking of and you. stealing their stuff in the process. <laughs> stealing something. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's it's fine, a, well, yeah. While they're like, oh, great fruit okay. cake. You're like, ha ha ha. In a sign, in a sign of goodwill, with stealing your stuff. Is there any suit that you would need? Well, you have to give the one that you're currently in. Yeah. I know, but I can I can move somewhere. I do, it doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> the suits don't mean as much to me as they mean to okay. everyone else. No, they yeah, don't. Like, I can only play in suits, which is... Uh, the suits like... don't really matter to me. And they mean everything to me. <laughs> it means everything to me. <laughs> I have I, I have to use other resources to, to craft and shit. Okay, so I'm gonna slip over here to end my bird song. Um, okay. And then I'm going to. You must exhaust. No, because that was a slip. He didn't. He didn't move there. He slipped oh, okay. from bird song. Okay. And then I'm gonna do one of these booties here to do an aid. And I'm gonna give you this card. Where are you at? No, you. He's to your and left. I'm gonna take this teapot. My teapot, no. Right, I'm gonna put that immediately. Okay, so I've just got a boot left. Well, it's a boot time. It's a boot time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna boot it over here. God, man, Dustin's got the damn bark skin again. <laughs> yeah, but I got three boots. I could run through the forest. Um, so that's all that stuff. So let's go ahead and go on the evening. Um, damage, draw two cards. Did you draw two? I think you only drew drew one. No. Oh, is the deck empty? We gotta refill. Oh, I tried to do the scripting button and you you were picking it up. Oh, I didn't know there was a button. Oh. All right, now you can draw one. You'd think that the scripting would just be, oh, hey, there's no cards left in the draw pile and automatically reshuffle them instead of making you push it. Right. That's what, that's what download of Tidus. does. Okay, I'm gonna just grab this. And I'm cool on my items, so that's all. That's it. In turn. And that's all. All right. I'm gonna play some wood. It's morning. Well, I'm not nerfed anymore, am I? You are not. No. Oh, probably should have done three refreshes, but whatever. <laughs> it's all. All right. Then. Also, you get you get more refreshes now. Oh, wait, that's. Ow, it. Dude. Okay, so start of my day, I'm gonna craft. Uh, first off, I'm going to craft some armor. Uh, and I've read the rules. It doesn't say there's any limit to like any th my crafting as long as I've got the the spaces. So I'm also going to craft a tax collector. Uh, okay. So what have... what workshops are you activating for all of this? Uh, I've I've got uh. Well, see, that's the thing. Like it says, each each crafting how, piece how can craft only be activated once per turn. Okay, then I will just craft the armor. Okay, since that's the only one I actually want. Um, I was like, I was like trying not to spend this card because it's wild. Because I was like, this is a good card. I don't want to use it on <laughs> movement or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I will craft that. And what's nice is I don't have to own the area too. I love that. Because I got the spot. Um, now move on to, uh, next up. How about, can I do some shit? I'll do some real shit here. Uh, I am going to, first off, I'm going to recruit. Oh, you just took rule back from me in that 
cat's bird thing. Mm hmm Yes, I did. Funny how that seems to happen. Um, then... I'm going to move. Uh, you three go down here to poop hole. People's tax. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to hey, give yes. Eric a card. People's tax. Fox is it. Here you go. Boom. Here you go, buddy. Um, then how about do just like a little bit of a battle? Where are you battling? Battle, battle, battle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of. I guess I rule poop. The roost. Yeah, I'm gonna fight that roost, right? The roost or the sympathy? I'm gonna fight. I'm. Uh. <laughs> Let's see. He has. The, he doesn't have to go take it next turn, because he resets. So if you kill it, he's not necessarily coming for you. Yeah. Says the Woodland Alliance. <laughs> Who's got sympathy tokens yeah, all over that. the board? Yeah. And is I'm leading. Low. And is leading in victory Stop. points. Stop. Just a little taxi tax. It's all right. All right. So I do. I do own this. It's for uh, the people, Kyle. The people. Instead, I'm gonna move again. And I'm gonna move all my dudes. That's another tax, though. It is. All right. Um, Do you have another fox? You can. You could draw a card. How do I let you look at my hand? You're just gonna have to like peel them off and go show them to him. It's the easiest way to do it. See them, my cards. Yep. I didn't look. <laughs> I didn't see what nice. you had. Nice cards. Thank nice you. cards. Oh, that goes in my supporters, not my hand. Correct. And I put it in there just like it's supposed to. <laughs> Definitely did it. Didn't put it anywhere else. So that was your three actions. Yeah, unless I take more. Unless you spend bird no, cards no. to take more, yeah. Which I could do. I could do those things. Mm -hmm. He could totally uh, do that. Uh, Don't tell I him he can't. I'm not going to do those things, so instead I'm just going to draw two points. Okay. I didn't get any victory points for it, right? Uh, nothing for crafting. Mm, nope. Nothing. And I just moved twice, so. Yep. Okay. Stay where I am. So, uh. That's a good question. Kill everybody? I killed everybody. Oh my god. It's it's a gruesome scene here today. I think Um Ooh, okay. I think I'm going to play Oh, that's not allowed. <laughs> Whatever you were thinking about doing, change it up. Hold on, I gotta see. Uh, God. It's hard, too, because with this game, because our turns are so different, like, when it's not your turn, you still have to pay attention, because, like, otherwise people are like, uh, I battle, I lose all your things. It's like, oh, crap, I was... Yeah, yeah, you I can't really play. plan ahead, because things yeah. change on the board. Um... Oh god, this is so hard. I will do this for my bird song. Place that box card there. Uh so moving into daylight, I don't believe I can craft anything. Cause Ooh, wait. 
when it comes to crafting, I can just activate any roost, right? I don't have to lo uh, rule the clearing that it's in. I don't think. In, is, I, th I, don't I don't think, think that's so, a rule. Because mine, because with the marquees, it just says uh, for, for building, uh, it says okay. uh, if you craft any, uh, any card in your hand in the workshop and take up to three of the following. I'm going to craft so. this card, which is Royal Claim. Uh, it's four of any um ter uh uh colored crafting piece so i've got four roosts oh, yeah. on the board so i can do that and uh cool. it's a persistent effect in bird song i can discard this card to score 1 point per clearing i rule not bad so that's the crafting i'm doing now i'm going to resolve my decree i can i have to recruit in uh fox clearing I will recruit in this one. Uh, now I can move anywhere, but I have to rule either the clearing I'm moving from or the clearing I'm moving to. And I don't have a lot of rulership right now. Got Peru and uh, Poopy uh, Dumbland and Los Gatos. Yeah. So I can move from or to either one of those. Uh, hmm. One, two, three, four. Oh, hey, I just, I actually just took rulership of the Woodland Alliance of Wobbledydorf because oh, yeah. we're tied here. So I can move from there too. Uh, are you tied? One, oh, yeah. two, three, four of each. Yep, yeah, and he's got four. Yep. Take my, you take away my lads. You now own Wobbly Door. For the moment, uh, but I'm gonna do my move. Now you don't. Now I don't rule it. <laughs> Uh, and that's a mouse clearing. He moves back. Now I do. Now I don't. Now I do. Now I don't. That's... But now you, you do own uh, the scoundrels. How... I'm giving you a mouse card to your supporter stack, Eric, to do that. Uh, but now I'm going to battle oh, cool. you in that clearing. Me? Yep. Okay. And I deal an extra hit. So no matter what the role is, well, did you did kill three. my guy, though. <laughs> so it's neutral. But I killed your supporter token. Oops, that goes there. And, and then you went. pay me for that. I pay you for that, too? Yeah. Uh, I guess you get this one, then. Damn it. Entering and killing a... But I got a victory point. Wait, no, if you don't have a mouse, I draw one, I thought. Wilds count. Or do you have to pay me a bird? Wilds count. Wilds count? Yeah. Alright. Can't believe you knocked my influence. That actually... I got a victory that point That changed some it. things up for me. Removing... That ends my Removing daylight phase. Evening, I score three victory points. And draw two cards. Okay. Well played, Kyle. I don't know if it was. Well, without knowing, because we don't really know what each other are doing, honestly. Like, I have no idea what you guys are actually doing on your turns, because I'm watching just to try and figure out what I'm going there, to be doing. Yeah, and there's just... but. Like the with the birds, move, there's so your, much that you have to pay attention move, to. <laughs> when it comes, your to move perfectly it. blocked my next phase, my 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 actual next turn, which was uh, to move into basing in scoundrel. No, 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 no. it's not anything you could have. That's, that's the point honestly. I just I just, I just felt funny. like I, like, oh. I just felt like I needed to stop harassing mostly Eric and go after you instead. 
Alright, let me see. I don't own any mouse territory right now. Oh, I do. I have a... I have this one down here. Okay. Yeah. You don't rule it, but yeah, you're in there. I have sympathy there is what I mean. Right. Yeah, yeah, you definitely do. In Peru. I was going to go into scoundrels, but now Peru is the only mouse I have. Okay, so... I'm going to spend these two mice cards. Oh, wait, wait. At the start of Birdsong, I draw a card, and so does somebody else. Oh, yeah, you get to choose. Oh, yeah. I drew mine. Who wants one? I... Kyle's the least amount. I'd love one. But he also just killed you. Like, he killed Sympathy in there. I know. Uh, you guys would have time. to discard... Do, you, do they have to discard immediately? No. No. You, they, it, you only discard, discard. Yeah, you discard end. down to your limit in evening. Who's gonna suck my? Di <laughs> um, let's see. Maybe. <laughs> Sorry. Um... <laughs> you know what? Eric can have it. Ooh, Eric can have it. Everybody's. Eric gets a card. Okay. All right. So those were anyway um i did that anyway i'm spending two mice tokens i'm revolting in peru spend two supporters there remove all enemy pieces so these two go away you're a boop, dick boop, boop, boop. no i'm not <laughs> uh, i was going to move into scoundrels hollow and be nice and and just be out of the way in the middle yeah but well no, whatever not now now it's now i'm now i'm building a wall um, uh, please matching base and warriors there equal to total number of matching sympathetic clearings. Once again, I do not own anything else, but I do now have all my bases out. Yeah, we're going to have to take one that? of those bases down. It's going to have to happen. No, leave him alone. <laughs> do I have a limit of officers I can have? No, right? Uh, the number of pieces no. that you Say have. No. Say no. Is your limit. Oh, really? Yeah. Shit. You only have one more piece. I know. All right. Anyway, what was I doing? Place warrior. <laughs> revolting okay, I did in Peru. I did all that. Well, I'm revolting everywhere I go. So. Well. <laughs> um. Uh, and then who else? Okay. So, and then I'm also doing this. Oh no, I can't revolt again because I don't have any more bases, right? I don't think there's any reason to revolt anymore, yeah. I mean, yeah, anyway. I, I agree, there's no reason. The current leadership is fantastic and there's no <laughs> need to revolt against them. <laughs> okay, so put those away. Uh, what I actually am going to do now then is who needs... I need to go back. Did you my... kill my guy in Peru? He revolted in Peru. Uh... Yeah, I was going to revolt in Scoundrels Hollow or Hideaway where nobody was. Did I but have then somebody I there that out. you killed? One one cat. One cat died today. Well, no, he didn't. They went to the field office. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> one cat did not die today. <laughs> um, I am spreading <laughs> Where? Okay. You're spreading your love? <laughs> Is that what you said? Yeah, where am I spreading my love to? <laughs> I'm spreading my love. I need to spend three to spread my love. Yep. Alright, so I spend three to go spend my love over here. And that oh. gives me three points. And that, Two, three. That makes uh, Catalonia a contested territory. Boy. Yeah, do you get to... Yeah, I think you do get to earn those victory points again. Well, if you tell me I don't, it's going to be hard to... No, I only did it like one time. Yeah, that's the, but, that's the first time somebody's anyway. removed a sympathy token of yours, isn't it? No, second time. Second time. Okay, so that's... That, that's Birdsong for your folks. Um... Okay, daylight phase. 
Do I want to craft anything that I have? No, I don't. I'm going to mobilize a V train. <clears throat> Man, I would think that no. removing sympathy tokens would hurt you, but I don't really think it does. Not when you have that many freaking supporters in your deck. Uh, it only the trick is to. I guess it. I guess it slows the, you down because you guys want to keep me. I guess it slows you down because these probably are worth. Yeah, these are worth more. So. Yeah, I have to spend three out of my... Like, I just went from... I spent three just to do one token there. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, anyway. I am... Mobilizing these cards. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Good God. <laughs> it's so many freaking cards. We gotta clear his okay, bases even, out, guys. My... <laughs> My evening phase, military operations. I have five military operations to perform. I am going to spend one to move. Uh, spend one to turn that into sympathy. Where'd you move? Down to this bottom place. From where? From the mouse. Okay. From here. Okay. Turn that into sympathy. Uh, that's four. One, two, three, four. Oh my Jesus God. Christ. Uh. Everybody gang up on Eric. Then. He's running away with it. <laughs> I have three left and I'm going to I have two in here so I'm going to recruit one there one here and then for my last one because I can't recruit to the last guy I'm going to move no I'm going to not move I'm going to He's got so many actions, he doesn't even know what to do with them. I'm in a battle. I'm battling in the Woodland Alliance. I'm battling. Are Kyle. you now? I haven't it's battled like before, battle so let's induced. do it. I'm usually better at defense, but I want to just do it because I have an action. Okay. So what, what do I need to do? Okay. Roll. Click, right click on this yep. button over here that I can't ping on. Yeah, the fight button. Yeah. So you deal two damage two and, and I deal one. So I lose one of my woodlands. And I lose and my two warriors. Are you done? Okay. That's my military phase and then draw, which is one, two, three, four. Oh my God. We let him. We let him get away with stacking up on all, all these bases. Ah. Uh, all right. So, so. We gotta roll for a buff. Eric and Kyle. Yeah, yeah. Go I get a buff. What is it? Nice. I, I'm, I'm willing. Plus one to my attack rolls for the next turn. I was gonna be doing some attacking. So either one of you, I'm willing to uh, to form a coalition with you to help take down this uh, this rebellion that's popped up. Okay, well, what? Here's the thing, no rebellion? Dustin. For a coalition to happen, you would have to get to ten victory points first. Right, which I'm going to. I know. And then I understand that. And then whoever you form a coalition with needs to win. And Eric is ahead of both of us right now by nine points <laughs> they don't have to win that i i i only win if they win yes at that point. yes you probably my victory points goes with away. me i if you make a coalition with me we're in a good spot that's um, what i'm thinking say. so i, I was I realized, giving kyle like, a i might have i might have like i might have screwed it because there was i should have played i have a card that i think i should have played last round but i didn't realize like i didn't um, read it now that i've read the rules i was like oh maybe 
right now Hope we'll see. I'm uh I've got my my battling commander dude in charge. So I need to go on the offensive, especially with that buff that just happened. Um So whatever that means. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, Dustin, you're up. I don't know if you can form a coalition with me because we're hostile. I don't know how any of that works. You can. Uh, that would can. make you indifferent instead. That's the only yeah, way to get out of hostile. I'm just saying. I'm. I'm just saying. I'm in a. I'm in a solid path to victory right now. That will be explained on my turn. Okay. Cool. I'm down with with co with joining. I have. Uh, I have the same path to victory. It would be explained on my next turn. <laughs> <laughs> and I have no idea what I'm doing. It's just a little so. twist. There's a little twist to mine. I'm a, I'm a parallel universe version of his path to victory. Uh, probably, yeah. If you notice, yeah, it, Eric will notice which version of his card is not L on the table. <laughs> Dustin, what are you doing? Uh, so... <laughs> I did all my, you know, on Birdsong Slip, I'm going to slip over here. Okay. What are you doing over there? What are you doing over there? Oh, actually, I lied. Yes. I'm not yes, I like this plan better here. already. Ooh, you're going to give me something? First I'll take some aid. So, Daylight Pay, so I can just, uh, have to be level 10. Or have ten points, and I can take that. No, you can. Oh, can I take it? You can take it at any during your daylight phase at any point. You just can't activate it until you have at least ten. Speak up! I can't hear you. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I saw your mouth moving, so I didn't know. <laughs> Which one of these would you like to do? It doesn't matter to him. If you activate a dominance card, Dustin, th what the card says doesn't oh, matter. Four. Okay, okay, cool. I'm just gonna grab one. But you have to spend a bird card to claim that. I do? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So... I'm going to go ahead and do a strike on Eric right now. What's happening? Use my crossbow. Eric goes down, right? Because I attacked one of his dudes. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm well. Hold on. I don't know what. What are you using strike to do? Remove one of Eric's guys. Okay, then. Uh, he goes to hostile instantly. Oh, that's right. That's right. Actually, I take that back. I'm not gonna do that. Again. Put back over there. We're not going hostile. He's looking at you funny though, cause he he saw you. He saw he you saw pointed you at him. Like you did something for a second. He saw you pointed at him. Thinking about it. He okay. had a flash where you shot him, but then you, he realized you didn't actually. I'm gonna complete that quest for Pow Pow, and I'm gonna get the uh, the two. It'll be worth two victory points. Okay. Cool. So now I'm at 10, so I'm going to activate this dominance. All right, so you pick between me or Eric, who you're forming a coalition with. And me and Eric are going to be, become coalitionists. Me and you? No. You can't. You're way too far ahead. I wanted to do that earlier, but you're way too far. So now we got to shut down this revolt. All right. What? So you are in dominance mode with mostly Eric. Isn't there a button we have to press when that happens? I did. It's over here. By your victory points. And actually, it doesn't really make sense to do that. Because your victory point counter needs to go on his card. To indicate that. Oh, cool. Gotcha. Whatever. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so I got some more stuff I can do here. A 
Okay, so I'm going to uh, do a craft action. Okay. Wait, am I on the... Uh, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Okay. So I get a boot. Can I get a victory point? You don't need victory points. Oh, it doesn't... Does it increase Eric's if I get victory no. points? No. No. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, and then I'm going to battle in my current area. Okay. For a sword. Okay, so my battle works a little different, right? Because oh, my max hits are how many swords I have. Right. And uh, who are you fighting? Oh, I just have one. Eric? The uh, darkness. I have to kill warriors first. So, so wait, 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 darkness. wait, 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 wait. You rolled a one and a zero. No, no, no. I... You got a zero, I get a one. I get the yeah. higher roll on all defenses. I uh, steal the high roll. So you damage, you have to pick an item to damage, Dustin. I get damaged. That's fine, I'll damage this boot. Okay. Get the Woodland Alliance, nobody attacks us. It's up, it's fucked up. We are the people. I'll spin the boot to come back to Catalonia. The good news is that since you didn't end up removing one of his guys, you don't become hostile with him. Even though you tried. <laughs> nice. That's good. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, and then I'm going to complete a quest. The errand. I need a boot and a team. You have to activate them both. And I'm not positive. I think in order to activate this, you would have to move it to your backpack. I think. You checking? I'm trying to. Whatever, I'm just, I won't do that, I guess. The Vagabond can freely move face up undamaged. Uh, teapots and coins and stuff to the, between the two. Um, but what about when you exhaust? Whatever. I'll just do that and move it back, and then when I put it back, I'll put it back over there. I'm gonna draw two cards. Oh, that's interesting. Save. When when an item gets damaged, it stays on its current face. You don't flip it down, face down when it's damaged. Unless it's oh. already face down. Okay, so that's all my daylight phase. Um, evening's rest. Repair all items. Cool. So this has to be faced up for it to be over here then, so I'm gonna lose something. Yeah uh no you're not gonna uh yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna check really quick though. Vagabond Um face down teapot. Well, you don't have to. You're. Oh wait, yeah, you're at nine. Or... Let me 
mean, if you gotta remove something... Yes, work. when you exhaust those items, they go into your satchel and wait to be refreshed before they return to the track. Okay, so yeah, I mean, you're under the Wendy's boots, actually, because I can use that explore for my little special. Okay. Okay, so then that's the end of my turn. Cool. Are you going to win this thing? I probably could have if I were paying attention to the card. Uh, so I won't be winning it this round. Um, let's do bird song. There's that. All right, daylight. Uh, because I can, I'm going to craft another armor. Right? I don't see any no, you game. cannot. If you already have uh, okay. the identical effect, you can't craft Whoa. it again. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that. Well, I guess that. I guess I'll follow the rule. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, then I will. Um, anywhere. Oh yeah. Um, then I definitely gotta have three woods. Two, three. To place. Well, those tokens go back to you. The roosts don't go back to me. Then, that's one action to build that. Second action, crude. And that, yeah. Four. Yeah. Lots of recruiters. Oh, uh, three victory points. One, two, three. That's super helpful for me right now. It's two actions. Um, then I will, it gives me Ownership of Catalonia for now. Which is great. I love, I love owning land. Who doesn't? It's, it's the best. It's literally the best. <coughs> Alright. Now, I get to move. Uh, I know what you're thinking. I'm going to move these two. One, two. Wait. What? Can I move through your land? No. Uh, on a move, you can only move you to an to adjacent move. clearing uh, that has to be oh, one yeah. that you rule. So you can take two move actions to get down there because you rule this one. Okay. You don't rule this one, but you do rule this one. Oh wait, and your and your your action is march, not move. You get two moves when you use oh. that action. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. So yeah, that's that's uh, totally so safe. I could do that. So I can move those two down there. Great. Then that's let's see, recruit, build it. That's three actions. But I'm also going to, uh, if if you have ten victory points, which I do, play during a uh, daylight phase. Uh, so I'm gonna take this thing right off there uh and so oh yeah, it, interesting my song i happen to own three uh three foxes um i get to win I guess. if you uh, yeah if you're ruling three fox clearings at the start of your next turn you and dustin will win oh yeah <laughs> uh then i guess i'm going I like to it. Then also spend this one more action. Now, what do I want to do? Um, how about... One more... I am so screwed. <laughs> Better do something good. Hmm. Uh, well, at this point, it's going to be choosing which other player wins, really, <laughs> I okay. think. Uh, no, you can only recruit once per turn. Oh, can I? Okay. Yeah. Oh, so I was normally... like... Oh, was that a dominant... Up. Go ahead, Eric. Alright, then I guess... I will...
<sighs> okay. Okay. I was confused. I should have played that last round because I thought I had. I was like, do I just like at the start of my thing if I have that? I was like, oh no, I have to play it first in daylight and then complete a full round with. So. Uh, where are my roosts at? Where are my roosts Sweet. at? Sweet. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. 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 What you got, Kyle? Hold on. I gotta figure out what card I'm putting down for my uh, decree first. Um, how am I dealing with the Eric right now? Me? Yeah, because you're Aren't a problem you too. With... <laughs> you're both problems. Well, maybe the Woodland Alliance. And the Iri leadership can strike a deal. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to put this card down in my recruit. So I've got... Uh, okay. And now um, into the daylight, I'm going to craft using roosts. I have one, two, three roosts in fox clearings. I am crafting this card. Favor of the foxes. Remove all enemy pieces in fox clearings and then discard. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, hold on. Does that remove my little dude? That's messed All up. enemy pieces in yeah. fox clearings are removed. And that's not and that's not a battle. And that's not a battle. Out. In all fox clearings. All like enemy all pieces in fox clearings. Yeah. Jesus, that's a stupid In all fox ass. clearings? All fox yeah. clearings, Eric. Every fox clearings. There's this one up here, too. Wait, what, does that remove his castle token? I don't think so. No. No way. It said enemy... It said warriors. It, it says enemy it pieces. Even count. All enemy pieces. Wait, so do I lose, like... So, okay, so do I lose my base and everything, too? Yes. Oh, I gotta... Yes, mm, lose this. Hold on. What's the card called? Fucking OP as shit. <laughs> it's called, it's called favor, favor of the, the foxes. foxes. Favor of the foxes. Let's see. There's a board game geek forum. Does this mean remove all opponents pieces from all said clearings? Are points gained for all pieces destroyed? Yes and yes. Oh god. Wow. I should have taken out that fox clearing. Thought about it and I was like, ah, it's not. All enemy pieces. Uh, an enemy is any other faction except if they're in a coalition with you. Vagabond piece can't be removed from the board. But I think the keep can. Yeah, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be. Right, so now you can take over Catopia. So you have to get. I put my. I didn't take That's my pieces off here because you have up. to. Yeah, it can be destroyed like any other. Okay, so what tokens came off the board? Because I get Mine points for those. On all the warrior pieces too. Not the warriors. Like not the warriors, warriors. The pieces. So the the tokens. I get points One, for. Two. Four, you, you got four tokens from me. And then I think I got two right. sympathy Eric's tokens five. for Eric. One, two. But my base and everything, too. Yeah. So yeah, three, four. So four from me. Four pieces from you. Okay. Holy shit. Wow, that is a game changer. <laughs> uh, Eric, go where'd your one. victory point token go? It's gone. I'm He's in, in dominance mode. Domination mode. mode. I, I, oh, I we that, have to now... win with a dominance. Oh, that yeah, makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I can't. And now, and now I'm fucked because he he. We were so close. All. Yeah. Yeah. I all I had to do. Is yeah. Survive. And now and now I have nothing left. That card is okay. brutal. Okay. We'll this. okay, so this screws. It's fucking op. Oh my god. 
that's insane that I was able to do that. That doesn't even make sense. Well, it's because I had all I had three out of the four fox clearings with a roost on them. Yeah, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I, di I didn't. Yeah. I mean, I nobody knew that, that there was a card like that, but. <laughs> nope. Yeah. I should have gotten rid of that. Holy like, hey, shit! Okay. Fox clearing, but... So that was my crafting. Now I resolve the decree, which is two fox recruit actions. Uh, oh, and Eric, when you lose a base, you lose half of your officers rounding up. Jesus, fuck, Kyle. And discard all matching supporters, including birds. What does that mean? So, it came from a fox clearing. Oh, in my cards. All the fox cards and birds you... cards in your supporters deck get oh discarded. Oh my god. That's... <laughs> Ah, oh, that's all my deck. <laughs> okay, wow, that changed the game a lot. Um, I lose half yeah. my ops, so I have five <laughs> rounding up, so I lose three. Yeah. So I'm gonna do two recruit actions in that clearing. I'm uh gonna do my move. From there to here. That fucked me on my next turn too. I I, I just I game. just ruined what the are you whole game. About? <laughs> I had all my shit on Fox. <laughs> yeah, you bet all right? your chips on all Fox. And so I just happened to have that card. <laughs> Dustin's mad too because he's his win condition is tied to mostly right? Eric's. <laughs> It just ruined everybody's Stupid. game. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, and then I've got a battle. Um, I will battle down in this bunny clearing against... The Eric. What? What? You what? Give him a card. Where'd you go? You gotta give him a card. I have to do the battle first. Okay, I did it. I get rid of the token uh that's a bunny card you can have this into your supporter stack i gain three victory points at the end of my turn i draw two cards and my turn is where over. did you kick me out of i thought here doesn't eric oh my hit... god you kicked me out of the no. why oh god and you fucked me again <laughs> Does Eric not get the highest roll? He didn't have it any didn't warriors matter, there. because he hit twice. Oh. Okay. I can't do my... I needed to act... Uh... I'm so oh. sorry. <laughs> I don't have any... We got a small nerf. Know... From the beginning, we need to... We need to go after Kyle, and y'all spent the entire game going after me. Everyone's got... Dude, I'm... until that turn, it looked like I was screwed. <laughs> Everyone gets uh, crafting costs one extra next turn. Wait, no, sorry. That's the wrong, that's the wrong nerf. Uh, plus one to defender's roll on battles you initiate next turn. Sorry guys, hang on. I need to I'm, Yeah, that uh, uh, that that lost. changed the game. <laughs> okay. Cuz now I, everything I had was taken away from like I, I it, literally every move I my backup to my backup to my backup just got obliterated. Same. <laughs> I don't have anything on the fucking board. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fox is this? That's... Good question, bird eye. I'm up to 22 that? victory okay, points so after that turn. I still can't believe that that happened. I can't either. So once you get to 30, you win, right? Yep, 30 is instant victory okay. condition. Gotcha. Sorry, folks. Um, <laughs> what you doing, Eric? I need to... 
take something, but I don't. I have, I'm limited on where I'm going now. Cause I got kicked out of so many places. I don't have influence anymore. Everything just got deleted everywhere. Okay, so. Um, okay, so I'm playing. Yikes! <laughs> Yikes! Ha! <laughs> <sighs> huh. Okay, what I'm doing now is I, I'm in my bird song. I get to draw a card. Who, who, who besides Kyle? <laughs> you can who, give it to me, gonna, I guess. <laughs> Eric, Eric, you can have it again. Eric gets a card. Eric gets a card. Cool. All right. Um, fudge, I can't do what I wanted to Because <laughs> I don't have the bunny I needed the power of three bunnies <laughs> I needed the power of three bunnies Oh man Don't we all That was so brutal Uh, anyway, I'm playing to, I'm revolting, uh, down here in Catonia, down in the corner. Okay. Uh, so, spend two supporters, that's there, remove the enemy, sorry Eric, but that one that's, goes away. That's fine, uh, it just I'm fucks up my to... whole fucking <laughs> I'm gonna spend a, spend a mouse. Damn it! So that, that guy goes. That, uh, you don't have I a have keep hold. anymore. Never mind, I can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. And your recruiter token comes off home. too, I think, doesn't it, Eric? No, it doesn't. No. Uh, why? Well, There's it says remove there. Yep. Yeah, so it's gone too. And you score a point for that. <clears throat> um. Place matching base and words. I uh, okay. So my base moves over there. Mm -hmm. My mouse base moves. And I get what base and warriors eat. They're equal to total number of matching sympathetic clearings. And I do have how many mice clearings are sympathetic? One, just one other one. So I get two. Two warriors spawn. You can't relocate a base. If it's on your board, you can revolt in the matching clearing. If a given base is already on the board, uh, you can't revolt in that clearing base. suit. Oh. Oh, so you can't revolt there. So you can't revolt there. there. Take it back. So Eric's little friendship hand goes there. And, and his, one of his cats go goes there. back, yeah. Oh, so I'm just really fucked then, because... Wait, so why can't he do that? Because he already has that base on the board. he's already got mouse base out. Oh, yeah. So I can't... Re so revolting is very limited actions. Yeah, you can only revolt in Fox right now. I think that's because otherwise okay, you could just move around the board using the revolt action over and over again. Right? Yep. Killing everything. Mm -hmm. That was my... That was where I was getting ready to start doing. <laughs> <laughs> that was my plan! Um, Okay then, so, okay, so I'm, so since I can't do that, then I'm spending the two mice to spread sympathy to the world. Uh, where's a mouse clearing that's adjacent to, I'm going to go here. Uh, that's not adjacent. That one is. I'm going here then, I said. Yep. It used to be, I owned this town for so long. <laughs> So lost. I'm so lost. Okay, so that was two points. Uh let's go away, let's go away. That leaves nothing left there. Okay, I'm into the daylight phase. Sorry, I'm just catching my brain up so that I got wrecked here. Um It's alright. We understand. I got a lot of mice on the board. 
I needed bunnies. <laughs> I needed the bunnies. Okay, so I'm not crafting, but I am going to Uh Fuck it. I'm going to mobilize these two. Frank, I'm going to mobilize this one as well. And I am... Training this mouse to give me another officer. We're going to stick with that. Where'd you get those two victory points from? Sorry. Now I'm in the evening phase. I missed what happened. What two victory? The sub spreading my support. Gotcha. Again. Gotcha. My sympathy. I mean. Right. Okay. Spreading my love. <laughs> spreading your love. love. Nice. Ew. Okay. I'm in the evening phase. Okay. What the okay. fuck is happening around the board here? <laughs> okay. So we're all sitting here just reeling and going. Wait, so what am I going to do now? Because everything's different? <laughs> yeah, I have four four actions here. What I am doing is I am going to... Uh, spread my love down there. That's one action. That's a move. I'm going okay. to trade... That's a move. I'm using him to... <laughs> moving him one. Uh... For my second action, I'm trading him for some sympathy. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, two. Is that two? I can't read. I'm sorry. Just hoping. Wishing I hoping. know. Sorry. I know. Um, You're still close to winning this. If I zoomed in, <laughs> if I had zoomed in, I would have seen it. Okay. And for my next action, I am moving and supporting and that is the three wait how many actions did you just take i did one move one organize one move one organize okay all right i thought there were two moves somewhere okay nope all right so that's another Let's three victory button. points for you Real close. Okay. So that's that. And then I need to draw cards, which is one plus two more. Now, Dustin, I can't win this anymore. And you can't win this anymore. But we can stop cards. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> Uh, but but question real quick. So this is in play, right? We can win if if uh, Eric controls Both either corners. corner, right? If no, I, yeah, no, no. Right. That dominance card is Why? your dominance card. That's what put your victory condition yeah. attached to his. His victory condition is so winning the game with three fox clearings. I still think that he should be able to use my it's victory. That's not how it works. Dominance cards work differently for the Vagabond. You paid no attention to the card text, and you just attach your victory to another player's. That's dumb. Listen, I thought I was winning this, too. Well, know, I was I... about to win it for us, but that's a stupid rule, and... <laughs> <laughs> it should feel bad. I don't like it. I don't know how you were going to win it, because he has to control uh, opposite corners easily, at the start of his bird song. I know. Oh, so you were going to come know, all the way down next. to this corner and clear me out? I was going to come here and clear you out, and he would have a building because we're allies, and it was going to be fine, and we were going to win. No. No. It's smart. That's not how it works, but... Yeah. You know. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> So I don't know what the fuck I want to do. 
Okay, so first <laughs> off, refresh three Destro items. I mean, destroying his roosts, I don't know, whatever you gotta do, just fuck his shit. Yeah, the roosts are the key here, I think. Yeah. I don't know how Kyle plays. Yeah. He's got okay. two foxy things, and then he does a... Bird thing. I don't. I don't. He does a bird thing. I don't know how his game works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna split here. That, that video was 22 minutes long, and it was Kyle explaining. I know. I know. Two strikes against it already. <laughs> I, I didn't want to say anything, but I had the same <laughs> thought. I was like, man, I just am like used to just trying to tune him out so much that it's up. hard for me to pay attention when I want to. <laughs> I know. I, I I looked up another YouTube video just just. Saying, nice. Okay, what's my setup? <laughs> if okay, um, if I I'm had the rights to... and the permission to play someone else's how to play video, that would be the way to do this. No question. What are you doing? Oh, scorched earth. Poopy dumb land is now on fire. And you can't go there Pieces anymore. can no longer be placed in or moved into that clearing. What? It's on fire. That's what his, I was going to do. I he was used his come character down skill. Here, and I was going to scorched earth this place so all Kyle's guys died. And then just Eric's building was left. So he'd have control of both corners. That's. Did I lose my support now there? I'm you did Eric. lose support there. I mean, Kyle. Okay. Um, I still have a boot, but I'm I, not going to use That wouldn't have worked because that's all. In, oh, I, wouldn't that have removed my piece as well? No, because we're allies now because we're in a coalition. Yeah, you're in a coalition, so, so it doesn't affect you. Oh, hey, Eric. I think. Oh, no, I didn't have these cards when I did it. Um. Um, okay, so that's the end of that. Eric, you're supposed to have you're supposed to be drawing cards for into your supporters stack for every time you lose a sympathy token. And Dustin's supposed to give you oh, one. Really? And Dustin's supposed to give you one for the bunny you just lost. Like I Why am I giving him a card? So so every time Eric loses a sympathy token from the board, whoever removes it is supposed to give him a card of that suit. Or a bird, if because birds are wild. I didn't have any cards when oh, I did time. when I did my crafting thing. I was out of cards, so Eric was supposed to draw cards into his supporters stack for the sympathy tokens that I removed. Um, but when you just did the scorched oh, earth thing, he's yeah. supposed to get a bunny card from you. Gotcha. I gave him one. He gave me one. Well, that's good to know. That would have actually that would have made it quite easier for my that might have been able to push you over the it. edge to win yeah all right it's the start of i had no game. options left i had to go where i wanted to go it's my bird song my... you know what that means nothing because i don't own any because <laughs> <laughs> you kicked me out of all my places jerk <laughs> all right i'm gonna recruit you told him he told me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. I have recruited. Now I'm going to march these three down to Pooping Hole because they need to poop. <laughs> then I'm going to freaking battle. <laughs> freaking battle! Bam! Get this. You killed this my pack. roost. I'm pooping hole now. <laughs> you are the pooping hole. <laughs> you hold. are the pooping hole. <laughs> Don't you forget it. Uh, so I think that was three actions, right? Yes, it was. Now I will draw two cards. Boop, boop. Then discard down. How about get rid of this one? Okay. Uh, let's see. What you do in Kyle? What you do in Kyle? Are you winning it? 
I don't know yet. <laughs> I make a nine point leap right now. Ooh, I also think I'm gonna go ahead and do this first. Why? In Birdsong may discard this card to score one point per clearing I rule. I one, two, three, four. I rule four clearings. Jesus. So that puts no, me at twenty six points. Put you over, right? I'm at twenty six points. Uh and let's see. Ooh, I don't know if I can win this turn unless I can clear some tokens. <clears throat> okay, okay. Uh, and now, okay, I gotta put a card down. And it's gonna go here. For me to start my daylight phase, I am not crafting anything. I have three recruit actions in fox clearings. I have a bird move. I'm going to take these three over here. And I have a bird battle. I am battling the defenseless Eric. Oh, but first, uh, that's not a fox clearing, is it? Okay, Eric, you can see that I do not no. have that card, so you can draw. Oh, so, so I should draw. Card for me entering that sympathy space. Uh, and now I am battling you. Is this? battle is where I'm a defender. You are a defender, however you are... Oh, you are, are you playing a card? Can I discard this to hit you one more time? Uh... Yes, you can. No, you have... To, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's an extra hit, yeah. yeah. What did I roll? My dice are gone. Uh, Two and zero. Two and zero, okay. Um, When defending, and you so get I the higher roll. With three. But you don't have any warriors there, so, so you don't you hit. Three times. You don't have any warriors there, so the the dice doesn't hit me. Um. My zero. I've got an extra hit from my commander, so I remove one of your two tokens. It's your choice which one comes off. We're in this clearing. Um, and you killed one of my guys with your extra um, hit. I don't think it's going to be enough I to get me there, though. The sympathy. Uh, and you get a card for that as well, since I removed a sympathy token. Wasn't enough to... Oh, I did get... I did get... Yeah. <clears throat> it wasn't enough to push me over because now I'm into my evening and I only score two victory points. I'm at 29 points. Damn it! If I had rolled a one, I would have won the game right here. That sucks. Now Eric's gonna win. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, I draw one card, I, I draw know. two cards, and my turn is over. Okay, bird song. I draw a card, and... Um, Dustin gets another one. Dustin, you get to draw another card for no reason. Cool. How many pieces do I have on the board? Okay, one, two. <clears throat> no, okay. Uh, okay. In my deck. Jesus. Okay, so I am going to. I don't. I did not get the card I wanted. If I can take back Fox yet. So, um, what I am going to do instead is I need to spread some love. Yep. 
You only need three points right now, so. Okay, so I need to go adjacent. So I'm spending, I have to spend two for my next one. So I'm spending these two bunnies. And check it out. I've been holding on to this for a long time. Yeah, that's what when, I, when yeah. you were like saying it, I was like, yeah, but you don't own the bunnies. I'm not worried as long as I hold on to these foxes. I mean, Where? Bunnies <clears throat> different direction so i didn't want to play it yet where are you spreading sympathy but to? then i got closer and closer uh down to the bottom corner so you I'm have to spend an extra one i have three there. warriors there oh martial law that's right <laughs> can i say that i spread it back down here uh -huh. or is the scorched earth prevent me from putting it there no you, you can't, can't put, put anything, anything there because he scorched it yeah <clears throat> so I'm fine. Well, then I spend another one for certainly. Okay. That was two victory points. Um, you need one more. Uh, Man, this is there any close. more? Do I own all the bunnies? I have. You... I have all the bunny territories now. Yeah, oh, I can't. You... Dustin blocked it. I, I only have bunnies left in my deck. I can't do anything. Uh, else, so. Oh, no, but uh, what you can't... I know how you might be able to win, maybe. Yeah, um... Is that well, bird song I, can, I can do it in my next... I can do it in the next Yeah, phase. you can get you can yeah, get I there through the evening phase going. with your organize. Yeah. Um, okay, so we move into daylight. Um, I am going to go to crafting by activating all of my bunnies and I'm going to play my favor of the rabbits where I move all of the enemy pieces oh! that I've been holding on to. I wasn't expecting Kyle to just blast everybody and kill me before I got a chance to nuke to the To do the same thing. <laughs> to do the same thing. So, uh, the... Th uh, I don't know what that overrides Dustin's, one, but that's one. Two, you get three from me. You did it. You won. Yeah. I think so. I think you just won. Permanent. Yeah. So it's that, done. That, yeah, that'll do it. That'll yeah, you won. Time. With favor of the rabbits. Because you had sympathy in three rabbit clearings? Yeah. That did it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I kept waiting Damn. for... I couldn't get attacked. Damn. I had these two ambush cards and nobody would attack. Everybody kept fighting me in yeah, mouse I, territories. I, I, I was waiting for Kyle to ambush me in the mouse territory as well. Yeah. I was like, come on, fight me! Like, and then I, I, <laughs> Nothing I got ever took me to the mouse territory. I didn't have mouse cards. Nobody ever fought me. I had an ambush and I bought armor. I spent so much time getting armor because I was like, definitely people are going to fight me. I never once got into a battle. God damn it. It's a bloodless coup. <laughs> it's an interesting game. It's there's just so much going on. It's so hard. It was fun until Kyle fucked. Up. <laughs> and then I, stopped yep. fun I feel I like yep. game this game is Kyle. really Kyle. hard to play. I think that right. I would have. There's so many little t little rules to remember. Mm-hmm. I think that if we if I had actually drawn cards for the five sympathies Kyle nuked off of me, I think that I would have. You would have won last turn. Take back a yeah. bunny. Because I would have nuked the bunny before Kyle got the turn to nuke the foxes. And I, I didn't, I should have played the dominance like a turn earlier, I think, and I would have, but I didn't think about it. I wasn't sure when I was supposed to play it. I think if you, you know, had, I kept, like, I was hesitant to play mine. Eric, if you had played it a turn earlier, I think that was before Dustin played his, so he would have been forming a coalition with me instead. Yep. All right, congratulations, Crat One, for correctly predicting that the Eric would reign victorious. GG. That was a really close game. Like, everybody looked like they the had a really was, solid chance game, at winning. The games of complete chaos are the ones that I tend to win in. And the ones with, like, <laughs> strategy or, or dice rolling, I tend to lose it. <laughs> But when it's just throw some shit out and see what happens. Yeah. yeah it's, so, it's so interesting because, like, 
Because you would think, like, Kyle and me play the same. We really don't. Like, we have slightly similar mechanics, but it's very hard. Like, he's able to mobilize forces real quick, and, and I'm more of a slow build. Like, yeah, I working on yeah. I was like, what am I doing? And then you you can just, like, sneak in. You're like, uh, I, I'll place a fist here, and then I guess uh, at the end of the turn, I'll wipe everything and then have, like, uh, a guy there yeah. and an officer. Right, do all this stuff. yeah. <laughs> I'll just take over this town overnight while everyone's asleep. I don't know. <laughs> That was fun. I really I I enjoyed that game. Um and I would be up for for playing it again and shuffling rolls around and stuff if you guys wanted to. Uh cool. So, we're done. Um uh before we go, does anybody have anything? Well, you know, I don't want to you to my own horn or let anyone else. I'm sure everyone else has got a bunch of stuff going on. <laughs> No? Okay. Uh, no. Yeah, in, in a couple hours, in about, uh, was it, uh, th two and a half hours? What time? Three. Five minutes ago. No, <laughs> yeah, it's in, it's at 4, uh, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay. It's an hour and a half from now. Uh, is is the uh, is the new episode of New Pantheon Academia, which is our uh, anime-inspired tabletop RPG that we're doing over at Saving Throw Show, so you can check that out. Uh, that should be fun. And then you can always check out me on uh, Mostly Eric on Twitch and Twitter and stuff. I play video games over there. Nice. Dustin, you got anything? I check you out. I check you out often on Twitch. Yeah, I see. I see yeah. you pop in there. Watch I thing. see you. I see Dustin. All my friends. Yeah. You and Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who really cares about me shows up. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... As far as I go, uh, go ahead and check out thunkboardgames.com and don't let it die.com uh, to go ahead and check out some board games that I've made. Uh, there's quite a few on there. You can play them on Tabletop Simulator um, or get yourself a copy of Don't Let It Die. Check it out today. Nice. The Eric, you got anything in your victory lap? Not yet. All right. Uh, as far as this channel goes, the whole schedule is being posted in the chat right now by Pod153. Uh, we will be back for more board and barrel next week at 10 a.m pacific time thank you guys so much for being here do me a Can favor join the this? discord server that link is in the chat now as well uh that way you can keep tabs on any changes to the schedule that's it from us thank you guys so much for being here and we'll see you next time Bye bye <laughs> <laughs>